This is it. Final qualifier top eight going down right here. We're going to be determining the final qualifier for the finale that's going down next friday february 19th live on twitch.tv slash cgl1 there's gonna be a link in the description to go catch it live also this will be the last chance to donate to the prize pool if you want to contribute to the prize pool for the competitors you can do so at matcherino.com slash t slash cotr links will be in the description yeah man this is going to determine our eighth qualifier into the finale this final qualifier couldn't have gone any other way it was epic intense matches went down to the wire i mean honestly i don't want to spoil much just watch for yourselves as always if you've been enjoying this mortal Kombat 11 content do me a huge favor hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button and enjoy this crazy action Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. The time is now. The final week, the final top eight before the finale. Champions of the Realms 2, week eight. Top eight is going down tonight, and the hype is so real. We're going to be bringing you guys a ton of action in just a moment. But again, to emphasize, this is the final week. Only one of the competitors in this top eight can qualify for the finale that will be taking place next week on February 19th. Only one of these competitors that are here in this top eight between Too Easy, El Kukui, between Get Wrecked, <laughs> Juke, Hayate, Titanium, Targets, Abyss, Honeybee, all these heavy hitters it's have made it into this finale. And my goodness, the hype is real. Destroyer, how you feeling? Dude. I'm ready for this action. You know, this is what we've been leading. Well, this is not what we've been leading up to, but this is the calm before the storm, as you can yeah. say it. Or yeah. the storm before the storm. Because or the this, El Kukui before the storm. Or the El Kukui before the Shivan and Pipo. <laughs> this is going to yes. be ridiculous. As always, huge shout outs to Console Gaming League sponsoring this tournament with a ridiculous prize pool, as well as some of the other sponsors that tagged along during the end, end times of this tournament series. I got to say thank you. Thank you to all of you. Uh, the Madman book, we're going to be talking about that a little shortly yes. down the road. Uh, shout outs to everyone who donated to the prize pool and all the viewers who showed love to this series coming forward. I want you guys to take a look at this top eight bracket we have for you tonight because holy shit, like yeah. Kaboo said a second ago, this is it. Only one of these players are going to be getting a spot into oh, the finale quali smokes. into the finale no more qualifiers into the finale caboose this is a uh, shout out to mary luna bringing in the dope ass graphics for you all yeah listen man this is just a taste of what's to come i, I can't give away too much spoils huge shout out to mr aquaman teaching me the back end and the things on how to you know run a nice sexy bracket and give some sweet graphics but yeah this is it too easy versus El Kukui. Get right versus Jukes in the lower bracket. Hayate versus Titanium. Abyss versus Honeybee. I was talking to uh, oh, to Caboose smoke. before we came into this tournament. I told him, I said, if you take a look at these brackets, bro, it kind of looks reversed. You know, the lower bracket looks like it's supposed to be in the upper side. Yeah. And the upper bracket look, you know, this is nuts. And, and, and I mean, this is the eighth week too. You see a name like Hayate in there. That is someone who we haven't seen. I don't know if he's competed at all in Champions of the Realm Season 2. I remember we'd seen his name a couple of times, but I think he just couldn't. He either couldn't find the time or wasn't able to compete, compete unfortunately. But 
here he is now in the top eight. That is somebody that I'm sure a lot of people are going to have to watch everybody out Everybody at the end of the stream yeah. on the match arena. But the finale right now, Destroyer, has crossed $3,700. That is 3700 And this might be one of the last opportunities you guys get to contribute to the finale prize pool. So if you want to do so, exclamation point match arena in the chat. I'm going to tell you what. If the community doesn't push this over 4K, I'm probably going to end up dropping money in there to push it over 4K. Just so we could say, you know, season two had the bigger pot than $4, season one. Prize pool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair enough. Again, though, yeah, Destroyer's right. You guys got still a little more time if you'd like to. If you have the means to. And exclamation like point to, match arena. You can hit exclamation point match arena <gasps> and donate to the prize pool. We are coming up on $4,000. Oh, my goodness, Destroyer. Sextrion? What am I seeing right now? Is, Is somebody going to go down Cetrion? like that? Is that Cetrianus? That's Cetrianus. fucking Tetona coming in the screen right now. And I think Tetona? she's... Tetona? I think she's getting ready to zone this man into oblivion. Too Easy is a little skeptical on the character select screen right now. He's trying to figure out what is going to be the best choice for this fucking character. You know, this what is going to be the best this Tetona. Character, the, this character's got a lot of Tetona. She's very uh, <laughs> <laughs> broken. Wait a second. On the opposite side of the spectrum, we normally see Too Easy rocking the Scorpion. This time, Too Easy going to be using, or sorry, using the Sub Zero, but this time, Too Easy going to be rocking Scorpion instead. This should be interesting. Bit of oh. a counter, of course, to the zone play. Let's see what happens. Game one underway for the final top eight before the Let's finale go. next week. Let's go. This is really good stuff here. Immediately going with the Reptile Scorpion, a skin that it never, it will never make sense to me. Watching Scorpion, I, I'm all right, you know what? It could make sense. What if, what if he just called this shit Chameleon? <laughs> I mean, I'm taking it too far. Maybe. This, is, this is Chameleon with Scorpion's moves. All right. Let's do that. El Kukui's gonna get a, oh no, no, El Kukui is a Cetrion. Too easy, he's gonna get a really good grab. Immediately with the Tornadoes. Gonna knock him out of the air with the rock wall. She said, hiya! 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 Now, if I remember correctly, El Kukui was rocking the uh, Fujin during the pool play. Is that right? He was rocking the Tatona? Yeah. You were right about that. <laughs> Tries to go with a raw spear. That was very Tried ballsy. To go with the Yo, I don't know if, if El Kukui has a teleport in this variation. I haven't been paying too much attention. Oh, what a punish! Oh. What a punish that was, from El Kukui! Uh, bit too much of an overcommitment there from Too Easy. Should have known that the Amplified Teleport gives you a very quick window to break away out of. He commits to that fatal blow, trying to get it to land on the breakaway. Wasn't able to get anything from it, but he still gets a combo here, starting off this next round. Beautiful stuff, 33%. I'm loving the staggers coming out of Too Easy, too easy as well. Good throw escape. Wait a second, again, El Kukui's gonna be on the approach. El Kukui! Tries to go with the cancel! It's gonna be a success! The century on pressure is busted, bro! So many options, so so many different things you can do. But what a read from Too Easy! He's gonna get the get over here, bitch! Oh, is that, is that the round with the additional damage? It, it will be a 16% throw off of the damage buff, the burning spear. Great stuff there from Too Easy with the standing reset and everything. That's a punish on the back too. El Kukui gonna start off this final round real good with the throw now. Let's see if he's gonna be able to hit him with a Shibbon and Pipo in just one second here. Oh, what a win punish! Too Easy is ridiculous! He's really going to, he, dude, he's going toe to toe with Shanak's sister. How do you feel about that? I mean, what can you say except El Kukui, El Kukui, El Kukui, you know? I mean, hey. You're not wrong about that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you're not wrong about that one. I will say, though, that um, it is interesting to watch Too Easy run this match. And that teleport is so key when facing off against his own heavy character like Cetrion. The only thing is, oh my God. Too Easy kind oh, of over a little bit. Right there. I am not sure Whoa. what Too Easy is doing with the back two. Maybe he's not getting the... Uh, Maybe he's not getting the teleport cancel like he wants okay, to I, off that back too. I wasn't paying too much attention. Oh, uh, you got to switch the names. Well, now oh they're my now bad, they're my okay. bad. Sorry now about okay. that. Sorry about that. No, they're in the right spot now because El Kukui won. So well, El sorry, gonna be the prior, prior before they were in the right El spot. My bad. But El yo, Kukui. I was going to say, I was looking at his defensive meter and Too Easy had the meter to get that cancel going. The only explanation I have there was either that was an input error or he was... 
he 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 was on that next level thought where he probably thought El Kukui was gonna push buttons immediately to try to counter the empty teleport, but you know he went for the full string, which got him punished. I know it's probably too far fetched my thought there, but it could be a possibility. You never know. Yeah, that's certainly one of the options, but I'm leaning more heavily Dude. towards that it could have been an input error, and I think that's what happened both instances because right, there get is El no in this Scorpion. Guy. Get El Kukui on this guy. There is there there are no Scorpion players that I've seen that we have seen through Champions of the Realms that commit to that back two. You know what I mean? No, for sure. It's always just wait for it to hit, either go for cancel teleport, or if it does hit, you get the hit confirm into a normal Wait. teleport. So let's see what happens. This is going to game two too easy. Could still be rocking the reptile scorpion burning the spear. El Kukui activated. scorpion. El Kukui, El Kukui. Oh, Ooh, that's another wind punish. punish. Dude, he's been hitting him with these things the entire set so far. The only thing is, is too easy wasn't able to close that first game out. You know, the, the play is looking very solid. Especially going up against a character like Cetrion, you gotta be playing solid. So let's see if Too Easy can just keep this uh, this game plan going. One thing as well that I'm noticing El Kukui do a lot real well is shutting down any pressure that's applied from Too Easy, especially off those cancer teleports. Yeah. That is something that Too Easy hasn't been able to get away with too often. Is he gonna spend a crush? Yes, he will. Too Easy. Smart so stuff. Damage over time, activate the burning Oh, and he's gonna now. get a throw. This, oh, this is, is a like lot of damage. Basically 20% yeah, right there. But oh my God, the oh, counter no. punished with the crushing blow from El Kukui. What's it gonna be? The reset. I think he's looking for it. Oh my god! Nice he's still alive! Escape, he's still alive, bro! That is not the round. He gets a jump three cancel! Cast. Oh man, see what I'm talking about right there? El Kukui just fearless. Not not even willing to take a beat, just goes to press buttons knowing that the cancel teleport is coming. Malita. Oh! Gets a clean punish right there. Catching the get up. Throwing what a nice grab. Let's see what he follows up with. 4-3-4, four, four, committing to the full string. And you gotta be careful, man, because these top-level players, they are ready to flawless block shit out of nowhere. It's kind of scary. Oh, that's a punish. That's a big punish for El Kukui right there. He's looking a little scary for too easy. A great flawless block, though, into the up three wake up. That's what I'd like to see. Oh, the whiff punish. This Already is looking wild. Blow, Goes with the low cancel. Too easy, gonna try to jump out of this corner here. Good flawless block into the up three, kind of stealing his turn there. Oh my God. The back and forth is kind of killing me. Just he go for it. Just blow. go for it. Definitely Just go gotta for go it. for it. Definitely gotta go for it. Okay, good round there now for Too Easy. Hopefully gonna shift the momentum in his favor, but let's see what happens going into this final round, especially considering he has now lost a useful tool like the Fatal Blow. The fuck was that? Are you uh, you okay? That wasn't me, happened, bro. That wasn't me. I think that was one of the operators from Warzone. I'm not too sure. Oh shit! Again with the tornado. <laughs> Gonna smack him in the face with the flame geyser. But wait a second, too easy coming in hot. He says, "Stop zoning me, you bitch!" Oh, oh, oh scorpion. Scorpion, relax. Nicely done. El Kukui gonna land that string. A wake up attempt gets blocked. The overhead and the end of that string gonna land. And again, El Kukui gonna continue the pressure. Could have been a whip punish. Oh there. my god, the cancel. Wait, how was he able to oh, block on time? That wasn't a punish? Oh uh, no. That's what I'm saying. Too easy had the reactions on point, but El Kukui is just defying the laws of Mortal Kombat that 11 here. Is unfortunately the game with the cancel into the fatal blow. El Kukui gonna go up 2-0 in the set now, and I wonder what Too Easy is thinking about doing going into the character selection. Does he go Sub Zero? Does he stick with the Scorpion pick? Does he go El Kukui? El Kukui? El Kukui? El Kukui? Oh, yo, the stage fatal up 2-0. El Kukui, gonna give this man the arcade machine and let's go play some Deadly Alliance. You know and Scorpion I'm said, how? Oh, you just killed me. Arcade one up. I'm gonna go, I got the arcade one up right here. I'm gonna go play that. Do right, it. You can comment that, you comment that by yourself. No, oh, wait, what do you mean? This is the last qualifier. You, you gotta be here for the last qualifier. What the, what the hell, man? Cool with that? Wow. You got the you got the comp? Wow. This man really left during the final qualifier. I can't believe it. You got 
You good at the cops? El, El Kukui? El Kukui? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Alright, fine. I'll come with I'll come with I guess I'll come with it. Somebody said caboose in full screen. I'm like, what the fuck? The game's in full screen already. <laughs> they said caboose in full screen, though. I was like, you guys want me to zoom into the. Uh, El Kukui? I'll zoom into the life bars. And all you'll see is this life bars. <laughs> you guys want that? <laughs> life bars for the final qualifier. <laughs> you just gotta figure out who's winning. We're not even gonna show you the characters. <laughs> oh my god. Imagine that once once it's over, once the life bar depletes, and the fucking camera pans out and you see who's who. <laughs> That's too much. Good grab nice from Too throw. Easy. He is in a big deficit here, man. Being down 2 0 against a Cetrion? Against El Kukui Cetrion? Yeah. That's no, scary, bro. That's scary. He's gonna full commit to Scorpion here, which I do agree with. I think this is a good pick. Ooh. He's just got to fix up the game a little bit, clean up on some things. Oh, Nicely no. done. Was able to get that jump in, but not the teleport to follow. That was unfortunate. And Kaboos, I don't remember. I don't know if you remember, but in the beginning of Mortal Kombat 11's lifespan, like Cetrion, she's always been a really good character, like without a doubt. And oh, that's goodness. unfortunate. And Scorp point. Scorpion's kind of just been that character to like counteract her. You know, he's got a lot of mobility. You could do the reactionary teleports on on her projectile zoning. But El Kakui, dude, he's playing a whole different game right now. A whole different El Kakui, absolutely. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that'll hurt. Wait, is that not crushed? Or was he not close to her? Not far enough. Maybe he wasn't far enough. He probably needed to be a step back. Good throw coming from El Kakui on match point right now. One round away from putting himself in the winner's final for the final qualifier here. My shooting and pipes are seriously shaking out of proportion right now. Kabuz, do you have a remedy for that? I have no idea. It's just you gotta, you gotta. El Kukui, El Kukui, El Kukui. Here goes this crazy Cetrion pressure. The block on the spear. What is Too Easy gonna do? I have no idea, but it really looks like this pressure is just unreal. Oh, the empty teleport. And, and, and oh, El Kukui was ready for it, bro. Oh wow. my God, into the short hop. Whoa. Oh, shit. This man gave him the bags. He gave him the El Kukui special. Who's too easy? Is this a charity oh, case or something? I never heard of that bags, guy. Who is he? Bro. Well, that's a good way to get the uh, the final qualifier started. You know tension is in the air when the bags start rolling. Yes, sir. Man, hit him oh with the goodness. Kaki Bail fucking times 10. So El Kukui going to be moving on to the winner's final. He'll be awaiting the winner between Get Wrecked and Jukes. That is, uh, that's tough for Too Easy. I'm wondering, like, I'm trying to sit here and think, like, if he switched to someone like Sub-Zero, would that have made it any better? I don't know. I feel like Too Easy probably picked the character that he thought was best in that matchup against El Kukui yeah. Um and it It's just that pressure. No, and you, you make a great point. You know, if you want to put yourself in the mind of, of, uh, of Too Easy, he has to consider a lot of a lot of Cetrion's options, and she's got a lot of she's got a lot Ooh, of options. Which is ridiculous. That's crazy. You guys, all the support that you guys are showing for Champions of the Realms for all eight weeks that we have been running this is insane. We it's been nuts. Thank you guys Six. all enough for all the support that you have shown me and Destroyer and this tournament with both season one, now in season two. The 19th is going to be ridiculous. We can't wait to see who this final qualifier will be. Thank you all. We're already over a thousand people watching live 30 minutes into the stream. Jesus. You guys are just the best. You guys are the best. The greatest community you could ever ask to be a part of. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Also, yeah, I, I definitely agree with everything Kabu said right there and more. And dude, I want to say, do you remember Get Wrecked? He got into the finale for season one. So... Yeah. You know, if he can two-peat the Champions of the Realms, in my opinion, one of the hardest online tournament series there is in the scene, that is going to say a lot as a player, as yeah, a competitor. Sure. See if he can do it. Right now, they're getting into a little scuffle here. 
He's and I mean, he made it in before there was custom variations and everything, before he was able to have the fun that he's having now with this cool wow. And That's true. Able, like, having the different abilities that he could apply. So now that he has those different abilities, let's see how this goes. That being said, though, it also increases the competition considering all of his opponents yeah, dude. have Be that same option. Being, like, developed into the custom variations now for so long, I honestly forgot Season 1 wasn't even custom variations. Like, if we were to right. go back and watch that gameplay, I bet it's so different from what we're getting now. Okay, he's gonna go for the EX hat. The respect right now from both these players. Tries to Holy open him up here. Smoke. Yeah, this is Juke's wild. just holding block, Dude, waiting Juke's for a the turn. Opening. That the is patience. so unfortunate. The fucking patience really paid off right there for Jukes. Very good plays. Immediately gonna set up shop with the plasma balls. Going in for the leap. And I respect this character. Oh, crushing blow! Slicing up the stomach! That was a lot of damage out of nowhere. Yeah. No doubt about it. The neutral jump punish. Get wrecked now. Gonna get a little combo. Sending Jukes towards the corner. Tries to get the jump back. Oh my god. Dive kick punish in the air. Not gonna get it though. That sword does extra damage. Little pickup combo from Jukes. Such a dangerous position for Get Wrecked. It really in. is. He keeps trying to jump out. out. That's already two times he tried to jump out. He gets fucked over for it. Okay, good nice grab. Get Wrecked just needs one more confirm. Kung Lao hits like a truck. That could have been it. Oh! Gets the two hits. Oh, again! And gets the hat toss again. Get Twice. Wrecked. What a comeback. Dude, that was insanity. I feel that like that really was a... That comeback, but yeah. Well, I mean, in a way it was, because that was very like risky. That. Going for the double hat toss, who knows what could have happened in that situation if Jukes would have blocked it. Jump attempt from Juice, who takes the counter, has the corner, damage over time. Get wrecked is burning. Get wrecked is burning. Down to cashing out of the damage, 27%. He said, I Get wrecked with a new jump punish. Oh, lands right on the little wiggly hat. Unfortunate stuff right there for Juice, but he's still keeping his pressure strong. He's about one more opening here. Whoa, what nice. a down two! Oh, could have got the oh down God, he's one. The Wait, he's still alive. And there it oh, is. There no. it is. Get Wreck needed to just hit something in the air a second quicker for that to potentially have been his game to take, especially with that fatal blow. But nevertheless, Jukes with game one. That's what I like to see here. You know, Get Wreck wasn't out of that match at all. He was definitely staying into it all the way to the end right there. That was a down to the wire first game. Let's see if Get Wreck is going to be able to readapt to this insanity of a Jackie Briggs player, which is Jukes. That was some good shit, man. We're getting some crazy Mortal Kombat 11 action right now. No better way to get this final qualifier started. Wait until you show on the screen, at least. Mm. Wait until you pop up in the screen, at least, bro. Seriously. You don't, you don't, you don't impress me. Oh, my God. You. Well, going into match number two here, let's see what's going to go down. Jukes is playing very comfortable, and he's up game number one. That is the recipe for destruction as a Jackie Briggs player right there. Good grab. Get right, going to jump right into that plasma ball. He's got to be careful. Dude, he had the micro duck punish. Didn't commit. Another oh one. God, there it is. Okay, there it is. Yeah, I was yeah, about yeah. to say. Two micro duck punishes just miss like that you gotta go get some water dip your head in some water not leche not vex milk dip your head in some vex milk beautiful stuff there from get wrecked kind of brushing off that last game and putting on the pressure against jukes here and you saw that brother great kung lao popped up he made an appearance he said yo i want you to knock this bitch out kung lao said no i will not and then, then what did he say what did the great kung lao say he said if you don't i'll do it Oh. Great Kung Lao is ready to fight. <laughs> I know a lot of people are mistaken. You think he's all about peace, but if you see all the dead monks in the background, it was the Great Kung Lao that whoa, did it. Whoa, whoa. Great Kung Lao, he unleashed a rage and just killed all the monks in the temple. And then he left. Oh, man. This would be a really tough comeback for Juke. He can do it. For Get Wreck Get Wreck can do this, bro. Snake. It's possible. Two throws back to back. You gotta stay on. Oh my god, that acid is gonna burn him alive. Yeah, yeah. 
That that wasn't the best idea to commit to that full swing. Probably should have gone for the hat toss and then jumped out of there or something. Maybe he thought like the pushback from that string was gonna get him out of the situation, but like you said, had to reevaluate it. Oh, I don't know if he could have converted off of that. Shutting down the EX hatchman, that is so that was messed up. Whoa! Oh my god, he, he commit or he gets the neutral duck again on that throw attempt, but wasn't able to punish. Still though. Get yeah, Rex finds an opportunity to get an opening. So careful on those leaps. Jumps back with a dive kick counter. Beautiful. Neutral jump. Try to go for a grab. Gets punished for it. Oh! Tagging him twice with the jump in, and that is going to be a done deal. Jukes going up 2 0 oh, very swiftly here. Man, these, these first round matches. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> you all right there? Basically, what I'm saying is uh, these are kind of looking like blowouts right now, bro. El Kukui going to burn out too easy with a 3-0. And now Jukes kind of following the same footsteps. Wait, that's it. You know what? Just because there's a, there's a couple of potential 3-0s here, we're just gonna we're gonna get a Volvo and we're gonna advance him to the finale. Look, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna give you the rundown. Okay. So we're gonna get into the finale right on February 19th, and when okay. I pull up that bracket, you're gonna see Leyenda Carnage. You're gonna see Volvo. You're gonna see fucking. Spanky Doodle, everybody that was a meme throughout the series is going to be in there. Okay. There's going to be all eight of them. And then all the competitors are going to say, yo, what happened to my spot? What about Leyenda? I, that was the first one I said. What about, what about Leyenda, though? That was the first name I said. What do you think about Leyenda? What happened? What happened? Did you end the, the, end, the end of the stream? I think I hit the wrong button. Oh, shit. I tried to dump a bunch of egg yolks on top of Caboose's head, <laughs> but I hit the wrong button. You hit the wrong El Kukui. All right, well, this is do or die time right now for Get Rack. Down 2-0 against Juice, and especially against Juice rocking that Jackie Briggs. We know what this character has done in the tournament scene in Mortal Kombat 11. Such a tough character, almost feels like a final boss, regardless of who's playing. I agree. And in this case, like Juke, such a solid competitor. Does a really good job with this character. This is tough. This is gonna be one of the most difficult to complete reverse 3-0s, but I believe in Garrett Rex. see, can he do it? I believe in him as well. He's gotta walk away from these uh, plasma balls. I mean, he does have a pretty big life lead, so I don't know about this walk away situation here. You know, Jukes is not in the authority to be advancing like that right now with that life deficit. Good stuff from Get Wrecked on a closeout round out. This is literally the perfect positioning Get Wrecked could be in to make this reverse 3-0. You know, up the first round of game number uh, game number three here. Showing a lot of promise. No doubt about it. Oh, he's jumping back. Good. He's going to get the punish. punish. And that's the beauty of that nerf coming from Jackie Briggs. You can't just abuse that dash punch to close distance now. Because if it gets blocked, you're going to get punished for it. Beautiful Perfect. stuff from Get Wreck. Wow. Oh, that was God -like. And he sets up for a neutral jump and pressure, oh, dude. Hey, that was brutal. That wasn't that was just a, a solid victory. That was a very convincing win that was for Get Wrecked. If he's able to channel that same sort of energy, that same sort of momentum for the next two games, a reverse 3-0 is complete. Yeah, you ain't kidding, bro. And remember, Getrek did take a little second to go. <laughs> Yo, you see that little face in the shield in the background? Where? You see it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That shit is too funny. <laughs> you know who's that, right? Who is it? That's... <laughs> 
That's the Kotokan move. That's what he based it off of, that shield. <laughs> he it. saw this shit. He went, so he's like, he went, huh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that name. <laughs> yo, yo, that's too uh, much. I gotta go. That's I too much. Go. No, no, we just uh, got, we just started. We just started. Stay, stay. We just started. <laughs> yo, yo, security, lock him in. Lock him in the fucking room. Holy shit. He's gonna get the jump in clean. Leave. Juice. My door lock. <laughs> Juice got him hey. with the damage hey. over time and the pressure. Why is my, why is my door locked? <laughs> I got. I told you I gotta leave. They I locked, gotta leave. They locked the door and broke off the knobs. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm stuck here forever. All right. Well, champions of the realms. Every single day, I guess that's gonna be my new life. <laughs> I want to see if Fatboy Slim's gonna be used any second. <laughs> I want to see if they're gonna. That's the new Blanche. I want to see if they're gonna toss him. Damn, Juice is going hard right now. He's gonna set up the plasma on the full screen position. Good teleport. Ooh. He just needs one touch. It's a fatal blow. Nice. Or just a combo, cause Kung Lao, like I said previously, he hits like a truck. This is gonna be so tough. Very oh, smart. No. Oh, he's still Juke. alive. Wait, he's still alive. Oh my, oh my god. Oh no. That was Just actually some free. really smart plays from Get Wrecked and also some smart plays Round from Juke. Two. Shooting the plasma balls at his feet, having the damage over time there, knowing that there was gonna be an attempt to teleport potentially. Yo, that was too much for me to handle right there. A lot of jump threes coming from Kung Lao, and that is exactly what you want to do as a Kung Lao player, is abuse the, the air mobility and the air tools you have. He's got this pressure on lockdown. Get Attack. right, though. Jukes out of the corner. Dude, if he opens up Get Right, that's going to be so dangerous. Because we all know Jackie Briggs is one of those characters that just kind of steamrolls you. Yeah, especially with that fatal blow threatening. Okay, but never mind. The forward one three going to connect. Get right is staying alive right now. Fight. Very good stuff. Fight. Okay, just standing in the plasma. In the fire. Top of the low. And remember, this is match point for Jukes. Don't forget about that. And he's getting the pressure yeah. started off early on. Get right needs to find himself out of okay. this corner here. Not only does he find himself out of it, but he's got Juke trapped in it now. Whoa. Oh, no punish again. Okay, but he gets a counter. Big ultra jump. Now it's Juke's turn. This is exactly what you're going to try not to do. Oh, my God. No, he gets open up. Get right. Get right needs to be careful. He's going to whiff that string. That was oh, so dangerous. Is that potentially the game? It is. Yes, it it is. indeed. It will be. It's We're over. going to a game five. We are going to a game five. Holy Get shit. Is making a bit of a comeback here in this set. Finally, it's not going to be a steamroll. This is not Champions of the Speed Run any percent. No siree. Game five between Get Wrecked and Juke. Listen, I'm not trying to bash the players, but if the finale, if the final qualifier would have started off with two three O's back to back, I would have ended the stream. Why? Why would you do that? I'm kidding. I wouldn't have done that. It's a joke. Relax. Well, why would you do that? Right, you know what? I'm sorry. Thought right? security. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Keep David. Thought you know security. what? I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. Let him know. Let him know. Jackie. Yeah. Here we go, man. Final match between these two killers. We got Get Wrecked with the Kung Lao Kung Pao and oh, Jukes shit. with the Jackie Briggs Kaki Pao. Okay. Rumor has it, every time she leaps in the air, she lets one out. <laughs> she goes, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't, oh, you didn't hear about that? No, I didn't hear. Wow. I should have I known. Wow, I can't believe Caboose didn't hear about that. That's that's canon lore right there. I should have known. I think they, they spoke about it in the combat cast one time. What was that? They didn't speak about it? Oh, my, no, never mind. Oh, he's going to drop the combo. That could have been huge for Jukes. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. I, Juice just broke away. I'm not even paying attention to the match. Sorry. My bad. Yo, this pressure from Get Wrecked right now. He has 
A massive life lead here. Juice is gonna have to wake up right now. That's what I have. Find hat toss. The throw gonna connect or get wrecked. Tries to leap out of there. This is relentless pressure coming out of Jukes here. Goes for the full string. That pushback's not going to get him punished. Oh my god. Bro. Nicely done. Orbital hat. Go for the teleport. The throw going to connect. Oh my Jukes god. Still has an opportunity oh. here. Oh, oh, oh beautiful. No. Match point for Get Wrecked. Juice gonna, he's gonna keep the distance here. I respect it. Cause I mean, oh, Get Wrecked like is on the verge of reverse 3-0 here. Oh, he gets hit by the second hit. Not expecting it. Again, man, Juice playing very safe. He's getting tagged for a lot of damage right now. Get Wrecked slowly taking control of the match here. Plus frames. And he pokes right out Get Wrecked, you fucking oh. maniac. Pokes out of the plus frames. More plus frames, and he pokes yeah. again! Garrett gives yeah. no fucks! He is a maniac right now. Has the oh. life lead! Oh, but the dash punch crushing blow will change that. He's leaping all over the place. Is Juke's gonna get the opening he needs? Nice. Little hat. Threatening. Get Rack just needs one more opening, and this could be a very scary situation for Juke. He blocks it. Goes in with the stagger. Good oh, opening. Down three. That's blow. gonna be the oh, round. He doesn't need to. That he doesn't need to. That's gonna be the round. He doesn't, doesn't even need have to. Spend to. The fatal blow. Final round. Final game. Final everything. This will decide who's going to the winners final to face off against El Kukui. El Kukui. Such a El big. Kukui. Big spot. You obviously want to make it into oh, that winner's final. Hit. I guess he's trying to make the read on the breakaway because he, he ended the combo short with that dive kick. I respect dive it. Kick. Dive kick. Oh, the jump back on the plasma ball. You need to avoid as much damage as possible right now. This is final round. Final nice. everything here. Oh my god, the jump back. He throws his interactable. Nice. Bro, he knocks him out of the air. Get wrecked his one touch away, Caboose. Whoa! Oh god, you gotta be so oh, careful. I think that's the that's not that enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. What's the meaning? Wow. And that's it. The chip damage. It's over. Get wrecked with the reverse 3 0. <laughs> Chops off the head. Gonna teleport slicer in half. And he's gonna split the cranium. Dude. Okay. Spanky Doodle. This, Spanky Doodle, stop the music. Set. Stop the music. All right. I'm gonna tell you right now. If okay. somebody goes and looks back at all the weeks of Champions of the Realms, I think Get Wrecked has the titles of the most reverse 3-0s without Yo. a doubt. This dude is ridiculous when it comes to reverse 3 0 -ing. Holy I wanna, shit. I want to say this much too. This is a textbook Holy example. This shit. set, another reason why you should go back and watch this. Or if you're watching this on the YouTube, watch it back. This is a textbook example why we always say sometimes it's okay to take a beat Go to the character select screen and just kind of breathe. You know, take a breather. Let that timer run out. You know, do your thing. Because that's what Get Wrecked did. I don't know if it was when he was down 2-0 or it was after the first game. But there was a point in this set where he went back to the character select screen and he let the entire timer run out. That is something you are completely allowed to do. And Get Wrecked took that breather, took that break, composed himself. Yeah. Next thing you know, it's a reverse 3-0 textbook example of why something like that could be really helpful oh i want to mention something too uh, i should have mentioned it to honey because he's probably going to be a little confused but abyss is in another tournament right now so he did request that we play his losers round match first before hayate titanium which okay. we're, we're gonna we're gonna abide by those rules so i just hope honeybee is cool with that um invites have been sent i'm gonna go ahead and try to just give a quick heads up to Honeybee so we're not waiting here for fucking ever. Make sure everybody is uh, up to par Submission here. Submission point bracket in the chat. Also, if you want to contribute to the finale prize pop bonus for these competitors, you can do so by hitting exclamation point Macharino in the chat. If uh, any mods can do so, please, I'd be very thankful. Dude, you ready for this set? I am ready to this go. This is lower bracket too, so whoever yep. whoever loses this is out. 
is out. That's it. They don't get no yep. more chances to get into the finale, bro. Lower That's bracket right. in this moment is do or die. This is and it. it. And I know for someone like Honeybee, who has been fighting, who has been in just about every top eight that I can remember for Champions of the Realm Season 2, he wants this probably more than anyone here today, to be quite honest with you. So let's see what happens as we go into game one between Abyss and Honeybee. And he, of course, with the Devora. Facing off against Abyss with the, with the Noob Saiba, which is a character that Honeybee did play quite a bit of in the early days of MK11. And another thing worth mentioning, uh, Biohazard, you know, Honeybee's brother, is in the right. COCR finale. So you'd, you'd imagine he wants, to, he wants to get in there too. You know, he wants the bio, the bio bros to be in there. Hold on, though, Honeybee. Dishing out the pain to Abyss here. He's gonna set him up for some corner pressure. Abyss able to roll out. Yo, I don't even want to say nothing because you all you all know how this commentator's curse shit works. The opties. Oh, that's chip out. That's chip that out. That is chip out guarantee. Good stuff from Honeybee there because that could have been a very scary scenario. One back three into fatal blow, and we would have been talking very differently about how that round would have ended up. Good down one. He's gonna hit him with the counter. Wow, man, that wake up down poke from Honeybee, it's like, it covered a lot of options just because of the reach of that down one from Devora. That boy Slim is tossed. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny too, because that dude literally is fat. He's fat and he's slim at the same time. I don't know how NRS <laughs> did it with that guy. <laughs> oh, hold on, the pressure right now coming out of Abyss. Honeybee locked down in this left side of the screen. What's he gonna do? The neutral jump one. Maniac stuff. Go for the setup. Gonna oh, open up a bit. Oh, oh. Hold on. This can't finish on Fatal Blow combo, can it? He's gonna go for He's gonna go for the, the setup. Oh, oh no. He was able to block. Because he has a neutral jump. How the fuck oh, was he able to block? Oh my god. The throw connects. He's still Magic alive. Pixel for wow. a bit. And he just goes for the Fatal Blow. Wow. Honeybee, the maniac. Honey B just threw everything out the window. He said, "Boom!" and gave him the pincers. <gasps> sorry, sorry, that I'm drinking was soda. Risky. I'm sorry. That was risky, and it paid off. Imagine you go out grocery shopping, and you see Devora flying at you like that. Yeah. What are you gonna do? I don't. I'd rather not imagine that. What are you gonna do? You gonna run? Mm -hmm. You gonna brace yourself? You're not. You're not gonna run. I'm charging at her as well. I'm gonna scream. What are you thinking? She's gonna fly in. She's gonna. Yeah! I'm gonna ah! What are you thinking? And then when we clash, there's gonna be fucking blood and shit everywhere. <laughs> Game number one, going to Honeybee. Abyss right now, man. He's probably thinking to himself, he's like, damn, this bug is crazy. That was a really good first game there for Honeybee. Holding his own in some high pressure scenarios through both of those rounds. Tossing the interactable, man. Honeybee, I, I'd really like the decisions he goes for. You know, get these, get this shit off the screen early so nobody has access to it. <laughs> Here we go, the Ava positive rush. Trying to get that chip out. Very reminiscent to Aquaman in Injustice. There it is. Oh, that's right. I didn't even realize how similar yeah, that move is. Kinda. Just without the ridiculous pushback on the Aquaman yeah, fighter yeah. rush. Yeah. Empty jump ins. I respect it, man. That, that's like Honeybee's middle ground. He jumps like a maniac, but he'll he'll mix it up. He mix up his jumping options so much to the point where the opponent's just like, oh, what is he gonna do next? Yeah. It's, it's, it's funny too. It's funny too that yeah. you mentioned though the Aquaman thing. I mean, everyone remembers the legendary. I would say legendary evil run that Honeybee had oh. when he made it to grand finals. Oh yeah. Another Khaled in the background saying. DJ Khaled! Wee! Wee! <laughs> he doesn't say the run. He doesn't say the run. You know, DJ Khaled on the, on the swings in the park. <laughs> I'm 
done. <laughs> this is out of control. Oh my god, that's gonna be a GG's. Honeybee closing things out, gonna tie tie the rounds up here. Abyss, he really needs to push hard for this game. You know, the last thing you want is a Honeybee going up 2-0. If Abyss can manage to tie things up here, get this to a 1-1 situation, he might be a lot more comfortable, but what a drop coming from Honeybee. Going in from the top ropes. Ooh, good flawless block, but the bug setup gonna keep him in a little safety net. We gotta be real what? careful here. Oh my god. That, Just YOLO that. No, that wasn't YOLO. That was a setup. Because uh, uh, freaking Abyss thought that was gonna be like a counter poke situation. He went to push buttons and it just whiffed because a bug drop. Bro, yeah. Honeybee is on another level right now. What is going on? This guy really has his options covered. No fucking way, YOLO. bro. Now that's YOLO. Now that's a YOLO one. <laughs> the setup with the. Oh, the trap. Oh my goodness, the trap just doing wonders. We're working wonders right now for Honeybee. That throw. Quite a bit of damage. Has the corner. The Ava Positor rush, and that'll be game two going to Honeybee. Abyss back against the wall. Needs to figure something out and needs to figure it out. Heading into the character select screen and going into game three now. Otherwise, Honeybee will be moving on and eliminating Abyss from this tournament. Oh God, this is elimination territory. I almost forgot. Damn, dude. These eight weeks went by way too fast, Caboose. I don't know how this shit happens, you know? Too much hype, man. Eight weeks of Champions of the Realms and I feel like I've aged 50 years older. Holy smokes. I feel like Benjamin Button. Oh yeah? I feel like I feel like Benjamin they're Butthead. A sequel about you? Yeah, they're gonna make a sequel about me called Benjamin Butthead. <laughs> Benjamin Beavis and Benjamin Butthead? <laughs> it's gonna be me aging into a fucking ass face. <laughs> what? <laughs> At the, end, what are you saying, bro? at the end of the movie, I'm just full blown ass face. I can't even talk no more. It's just farts coming out. The doctors, oh, they say, they say, Destroyer, there's not much we could do for you anymore. And I go, <laughs> Alright, shut this thing. You can't do that shit to me. I'm good now. I'll see you later. <laughs> I don't know why you do this. Yo. I don't know why you do this. Yo. Yo, that's some crazy I shit. I I'm, dire I'm, dire I'm in the middle of directing the movie. I didn't want to like give too much, but. <laughs> oh my god, is Honeybee winning? What's happening? <laughs> he, gets to, he gets to jump in. He gets to jump in. This is as even as can be right now. One touch for Oh, he throws the bucket oh. of blood and guts. And oh that's gonna do God. it, Honeybee. Match point. Man, can you believe the range on that neutral jump? Or just that jump in general for Javora. It is ridiculous. Neutral jump punish. There it is again. There it is again. You have to be so weary of that range. <laughs> Good flawless block. Honeybee's in it to win it right now, Destroyer. He really is. Abyss, not giving up easy. Oh, nice that was crazy. Punish. That was actually crazy right there. Man, that optimal, still, it looks so difficult to land. The way that Abyss just makes it look that easy. He really does. But I tell you what, Honeybee's about to set up a way, about a combo and a, and a, and a set up a way from all... I think... Let me uh, not, let me not say exactly nothing. Let me not saying. say nothing. Let me not say nothing. Nah, your commentator's cursed. Let me not say nothing. Your commentator's cursed. Well, if commentator's you're cursed, commentator. Abyss is gonna pop you're off right now and take a game. If it's commentator's cursed. If anything, oh, man. I'm blessing Honeybee here. Abyss gonna go for the fatal blow. Oh, it's not gonna work. Wait! No! Oh. The teleport! I, oh, oh. He gets oh. the armor block! Oh, oh no. the wake up fatal oh, blow! Fatal blow. blow. The wake up fatal blow. The armor Arnie breaker B, with bro. the back two into the back four two, but it wasn't enough. To Yo, it wasn't enough. What, was there anything he could have done to? Well, no, he had an armor breaker. If he wanted to get that damage right there, he had an armor breaker, which is unfortunate. But I was gonna say maybe he could have done something to convert into fatal blow. Anything, but wow, wowzers.
Wowzers indeed. Oh my god, what a photo finish there between Honeybee and Abyss. But Honeybee will take it on just a wake up fatal blow. The absolute madman. Although that was a 3 0, it certainly didn't feel like it. No, it really didn't. Now that you just mentioned it was a 3-0, that's that's literally I'm just not realizing it was a fucking 3-0. But let's go into the last match on this uh first, first round. First rounds. Yup, we're gonna be going into Hayate versus Titanium Tigers. This is the one you were most excited for, right? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this set. I mean, we know, we know the noise the Titanium Tigers has created in this community. And then there's also a competitor as well-rounded, as solid as Hayate, who we haven't really seen at all during Champions of the Realm Season 2. Now in the final top eight, he could cause some noise, so, or he could make some noise. So let's see what happens as we is go Hayate this still, game. We're going to get uh, these players loaded Hayate's in. Hayate is still PG, Wait right? To, Kodal, to start off this set, because he maybe, knows maybe. Hayate... Because he knows Hayate's going right away to Fujin if uh, if he's going to go. But you also got to keep into consideration, man. Like, you know, one player's Fujin could be, you know, the recipes for their play style could be completely different from one another. And, oh, no, you were completely right. Titanium Tigers doesn't even want to yeah. risk it. He's yeah. going to immediately go for the Kotal comp pick, realizing that Fujin just has quite a bit too many options to just get away from that stomp. Yeah. And I don't blame him, man. You know, Fujin got Skywalker. He can do that shit where he throws the fucking anime sword looking like a goddamn... Yeah, but we know, we know Kotal Khan uh, A maniac. You know? Did you think... <laughs> you think... You think Hayate is ready to deal with that move? I don't know if he's ready to deal with the... Wait. I mean, the main question is, does he even have that equipped? Does he have? He does. You didn't see it? No. If I saw that shit, I would have lost my mind. Uh, I had to keep my eyes covered for that shit. All right. He's got the damage buff. One touch is gonna be big boy damage coming out of Titanium Tiger. He catches it here. This is a good setup for the. Oh, he's got the sun. He wants Hayate to feel this pressure he's putting on him. Literally. Oh, man. I don't know. I feel like the trade there ends up working out in Titanium Tiger's favor. He's gaining health, not taking as much damage from the combo that Hayate was going for in the corner. Ooh. Oh, Hayate needed to go for the crushing blow combo or for the crushing blow strength if he wanted to get rid of the sun there and maybe survive. But with that little amount of health, what can you do? You got to love Hayate's variation name here. And it's a nice reminder for any of you guys. If you have Twitch Prime, you have Amazon, Amazon Prime connected to your Twitch account, you get a free sub to a content creator of your choice. I'm just saying. Also, speak, speaking about content creator support, you know, me and Caboose recently got partnered with G Fuel. So if you guys want to, you know, re-up on some G Fuel, keep yourself up and, and working, definitely use either code Caboose or code Combo with a K, please. Sure. And if you don't use any of those uh, codes, then I'm going to tell you what. Kodo's going to bust down your door and he's going to hit you with the <laughs> command grab. And he's going to slam you on the top of your head. You're going to say, why? Why did I use the code? Good pressure right now from Hayate. Slowly but surely depleting this life bar here. Oh, I think that's going to be a done deal. I think no, he's will not. Oh, yeah, you're right. This fucking... Don't call it just yet. The sun this is life doing back. a lot of work for Titanium here. Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, the wake no. up three. If you're the commentator's curse, it, see, how how is it that every time you call it, like, it goes the way that you think it's going to go? But if I were to say Bro. that, if I were to say that shit, then Titanium Tigers would have dug words. deep. My words, in my, my words just don't have as much influence as yours oh, in these matches. No, the you got to realize connect. that. You got to realize that. Oh, that's a good punish right there. Why did he go for the, the kick crushing blow? I feel like that would have been a perfect opportunity. You know, you are Especially down. Exactly. Final round. Get your tools out of the way. All right, maybe he actually went for a uh, a, a specific combo there to set something up. See what happens here. He's going to go for the Skywalker cancel. The projectiles. Oh, he pulls him right in. Beautiful conversion from Hayate. Odd like. Knocks him down. He's going to pull up a totem. Oh, why didn't that crush? What did he do? What happened there? Wait, whoa, whoa. What is Titanium Tiger doing? Titanium is wilding out. 
this could hurt. If he lands a hit, it could really hurt. Never mind, the totems are down, oh, and that is going to be the game. Hayate takes game one, shuts down the. You don't. You don't impress. You don't impress. You don't impress. You don't impress. Quarter, are you going to say it? You don't impress. You don't. <laughs> oh, nah, this man, I think he might have took some extra dose of NyQuil or something. This man is getting real drowsy here. So like he's falling asleep. Please. Somebody wake up, Koro Khan, please, before this man has a fucking... Fujin. <laughs> he should have honestly just named the variation that. <laughs> He's gonna think about going for the Koro Khan pick for a second time. This time, he's pulling out Koro, Conan the Barbarian. Or how about Kotan? Look, he he's pulling look, look, look. out. He's pulling out Kotan the. I really want to know how that shit is pronounced. Like I'm dead ass gonna go deep into the web and and find out the exact uh, way to pronounce that. Well, here we go. This next game starts off pretty well so far. Four Titanium Tigers, the short hop connect. Wallace block off the wake up attempt. Gets pop in the back one one. Ayate, now it's his turn. Gets the reset. Oh, good nice. down two. Down two. Okay. A little combo here into the corner. Hayate with the reset as well off the warp needle. Oh, the pressure right now from Hayate. It's relentless. And, you know, I don't know if this is a case. Well, I can't say that. I was about to say, man, is this like the cause of Titanium Tigers like devoting a lot of his time to Shiva? Now that he's playing other characters, he just doesn't feel as comfortable. But that's got to be out of the window because Titanium plays the whole fucking roster at a high level. Oh my Ooh, God, he almost caught Hayate. That's going to be the round. Good round win there. For Hayate, once again, still in control. Titanium Tigers has got to dig deep. Because, yeah, it's starting to feel that that maybe, maybe he was devoting so much time to Shiva. But then again, I don't know. You can't really call that. It's also, you got to give a, a shout out or it's, it's a testament to the skill that Hayate has with his character. Beautiful little whiff punish from Hayate as the corner. Continuing this pressure. Nice flawless block off the Amplified Warp Needle. And the oh. gonna connect. Very good stuff. He's gonna put him in the corner. That's a nice counter there. He gets another command grab. Gonna slam him with the... No amplification, though. As Dude, this, this is... Again. This is really, oh, my oh goodness. No. I was about to say, this is looking like a really good round for Titanium Tigers. And yes, it is. Round? Yes, That's indeed. the round. Massive damage coming out. A two-hitting move. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, was that not punishable? Interesting. Gonna try to drag him in there. Nothing's there. Titanium Tiger's fighting his way, putting us back in a mid screen neutral position. Up for the log. Nice back to the punish. The sun activation. Into that was wow. so smart from Honeybee. Or sorry, from Honeybee. From Hayate. Um, he was so, so smart to go for the crushing blow because he got rid of the praising of the sun. He got rid of the who you, who you, who Good down four. Tags him out of the air a little bit. Damn, man. Titanium Tiger is getting very oppressive with this poke game. I respect it. Getting a little chip out there with the drill sword. Nice. Hits. Uh, yo, I... Notice Hayate's trying to get the punish on the sun, but he's just a tad bit too late every time. Yeah. yeah. He's trying to punish that. Titanium Tiger is, is about uh -oh. to type it. No, let me shut the fuck up. What did I do? Uh -oh. Hold on. Titanium, get that sun out. Find an opportunity to get that sun out. Get some distance from Hayate here. Dude, nice he's putting blow. a lot of pressure. Oh, God. 17 Hayate's, seconds. Hayate's got to make sure that he Wait. maintains that. Oh, he got hit. He cannot 13 seconds. Give an opportunity. Oh my god! What? Oh. What? How did that hit? How, how 
Oh, it was right. It was right as Hayate went for the cancel. Just as Hayate went for the Skywalker cancel, the fatal blow was activated, and he hit the ankle. How did that of hit? Fusion. That was unreal. That was unreal. Bro. Hayate waited just a second yo, too long my, in yo, the caboose. air and canceled a little too late. Listen, on my screen, he activated the fatal blow. The first couple of, like, you know, the first animation where he swings the arms and then he mm. puts them in the air. He put the arms in the air and the fucking whatever that little sickle he has literally touched his toe and just dragged him into the whole fatal blow animation. That was so scary to watch right there. The oh fatal was thrown up the, I think, the literal Fuji. moment, Fuji. the exact Fuji. moment by pure coincidence that Hayate canceled the Skywalker. Wow. It's a bit of an unfortunate scenario, but works out for Titanium what Tigers, is, and we're yeah. all tied up one-to-one -one in this set now. Dude, what was looking like, uh, you know, Hayate was looking to go up 2-0 in that position, but... Titanium with a miracle fatal blow right there. Gonna turn the tides of battle, tying them up one to one. Unreal. Unreal, Caboose. Unbelievable. We got ourselves a set, ladies and gentlemen. And to start things off, Titanium Tiger is gonna get a couple of hits in for a 24% combo. Punish though off the down two attempt. Nice little setup from Hayate. Oh, he's gonna whiff there. Titanium Tiger is trying to play as patient as possible, and I feel like he needs to get a lot of more opportunities where he can get those totems up. If he can get a lot more uh, damage defense on, it's going to cause, you know, Hayate to have a hard time. Beautiful pull on that, man. Hayate really playing to his character strengths here. What a short that hop! Wow! Was that, like. that was godlike. That really was. Hayate taking a step back, gonna go right back in there with the pressure. It's an on and off switch Hayate's doing, and it's just got Titanium Tiger's mind fuck. Ooh. Nice back one. He's about to chip out away from closing this out. Is he gonna go for Drill Sword? Yes, he is. No better way to end that situation out there than with Drill Sword. Koto Khan got up. He said, you don't. You know, we're in the stage that has about five DJ Khaled's behind the gates. <laughs> behind the fences. <laughs> oh, this is going to be huge damage. Off, yo, a jump three into a fucking special caboose. Hello? 30%. 30%. Hello? Oh, crush. Okay, Hayate answers back. How much is this? 20%. Jesus, that's still a lot with no damage totems. Oh, he gets opened up by that. What's Titanium Tiger gonna do? I kind of feel like he should have went for a uh, sun setup, no? Hard, the hard knockdown straight into the sun. That was a perfect yeah. opportunity for it. Oh, man, Hayate has that fatal blow. He's, he's got, gotta be he's, so he's he's got a lot of distance here. Okay. Yeah, oh, back too. shit, he broke away. Whoa! Oh, the short hop, Hayate. What a maniac. Gonna take that game. That was nuts, dude. This is literally the last match for losers round one. And holy cow, are these players showing out here. Hayate, giving it his all right now. And dude, I don't know if you, uh, if anybody watches Hayate stream, but this man, he plays like some of the most motivational, inspiring music. And yesterday I tuned into his stream while he was playing against, uh, oh, yeah. who the hell was he playing against? I forgot. Do you remember? When he was in the, when he was trying to make it into the top eight. I can't yeah, remember he was playing. trying to make it into the top yeah, eight. AJ74U. AJ74U, yeah. yo, bro, the match was so epic and I was just watching this shit poop in my pants. It was nuts. <laughs> Shout out to Ayate, man. I, I fucking squirted leche out of my eyes. <laughs> but but shout, shout out to Ayate. He's a real uh, dedicated and, you know, he, he puts a lot of emotions into it. And I respect that, man. Let's see if he can close this out here. Going to be up 2-1 against... Wait a minute. Against the queen. Against the queen. Oh, shit. Did you see that pick? Oh. I just noticed it last minute. I, I don't know, man. Don't, don't you think this is a bit of a risk? We'll find out. Titanium Tigers. Titanium Tigers. Titanium Tigers going ballsy here. 
I, I mean, I guess if this is kind of his, like, you know what, do it. I'm just gonna go for this, then okay. But at the same time, even after that win from Hayate, it was pretty close between Hayate and Titanium Tiger. It was. Total Khan. And Total Khan, he already got a game with Total Khan. So I don't know. This is a huge risk. I'm not sure if I agree with it, but then again, I'm not competing. I'm just out here commentating. So. Whoa, he tried to go for a crazy mix up right there, but Hayate was ready for it. What the hell was that about? This dude was just fuzzy. Okay, clean punish. It's gonna go straight into a fatal blow. I don't know if this is gonna do enough. I'm not too sure about Thank Shiva's damage scaling. Oh, it is. I think it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because this last bit does an wow. extra bit of damage. Yep. Nice. Mad done damage there on the Titanium table there. Tiger. Dude gave him the two cantazos to the back of the head, almost ripped out the ponytail. Fujin's gotta be careful. Oh, oh shit. the down to crush. Knew that throw, or sorry, that the throw attempt was coming. Try to go from blockable. Nice throw. Back two, that could have been a crushing blow. Wow, just go straight by the stomp. Titanium Tigers just showing a lot of dominance right now. Oh my God, Phil just taking a beating caboose. I can't watch. I, I can't watch. I, I can't watch Mads Mikkelsen take this damage like this. He doesn't look like Mads Mikkelsen. There's Mads Mikkelsen. Oh, wait a second. Down two. Oh, he tried to go for That's it. Very smart. No, I think he was just trying to save himself. Oh, shit. oh beautiful. Where's the fatal blow? Yeah, he's gonna go into the fatal blow. I don't Is think he's enough? dead. I don't think he's dead. This fatal blow does scale quite a yeah, bit. Yeah, scales quite a bit. No, he's yeah, still alive. Not gonna be he's dead. still alive. Wait. No, he's still alive. Oh, oh my God. He tried to go for the stomp, but the arrow oh. to the knee. My God. On the way up, the crossbow catches Shiva's ankles. Hayate just barely stays alive. Match point, by the way. For Hayate. Holy cow. Nice. Amplified Skywalker into the conversion there. Beautiful stuff. Block. Not sure how Hayate got caught there, but he got caught. Back to in the Amplified Skywalker again. Down two. Nice short hop. Both of these players without a fatal blow. Broken X, good stuff there from Titanium Tigers. Oh man, Hayate Dude. not able to counter oh, that stomp and gets oh, caught by the Oh shit, we're going to a final again. game. Caboose. Right. We're going to a hey. final game here, bro. Again, this is why I'm just commentating. These guys are just playing because clearly Titanium Tigers, he really, he barely even stomped there too. I didn't see him stomping a whole lot that entire game, unless you count like the ground stomp to be one of those, but like not a lot of the, the jump in the air stomps from Titanium Tigers and still manages to take down Hayate and send us now to a game five, our second one of the night. I'm Anthony nervous, man. And this is the lower side of the bracket too. Do or die time for both of these players. Hayate having like pretty much just entered in Champions of the Realm. We haven't really seen him all of season two. Although I believe he had entered previously, but you know, making it into the top eight for the final week. Titanium Tigers, we've seen oh, him a wait, couple of times. What is he doing here? What is he thinking? Is is he uh he's putting on the uh augments? <laughs> doing the augments? Imagine some <laughs> shit like that, bro. He said, oh, they have it open, why not? <laughs> he puts he comes in here with like <laughs> fucking triple armor. And then everybody in the chat's like, oh, no, 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 it's not the match, it's not the match. And me and Kabooz are just laughing about it. Like, <laughs> let it go, let it go. <laughs> okay, let's see what goes down here for the final game between Titanium Tigers versus Hayate. Yo, the zoning is going crazy right now. Oh, and that's the smart stuff. Because I, I remember I saw a video. It was, um, I think Dragon posted it. He was fighting against somebody and... That fireball against uh, Fujin, it stops him. With a Skywalker, like anything he goes in the air mobility-wise, that fireball is going to knock him out the air. It's so I think, good. I think any um, any high projectile catches Fujin. I mean, doing really? Is that correct? I think that's the case. I didn't know if that. If I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. Whoa, he goes for the mix-up. Straight into the low. Going to give some damage over time. Every single time Hayate moves after that a grab that uh, Titanium did, he's going to take damage. Look, knocking him out of the air. Didn't even have to think about it, Caboose. That was sick. Unblockable stomp. Oh, man. Oh, shit. That's such a tough tool to deal with because the startup of it always looks like she's going for the normal stomp. 
And so you're just sitting there waiting. Next thing you know, you get caught. Block. The, the counter! Connect. A little bit of chip damage. Jump in. Oh, the wind oh, wave! Oh, nice. I think gets a couple of hits I got to finish it, bro! Fatal. He Yo. could have finished it. Oh my god, oh, not no. like this. Hayate had oh, to confirm no. to end it, bro. Not like oh, this. No. He oh, flies out of there. Kick. Oh my oh, god, my god. five seconds left, dude. My chest is about to come out of my ass. What the fuck? Three, two. Oh! Oh, oh my oh, god! Oh my god! Oh, my god. god. He got the round! Kaboosh! Holy Kaboosh, shit. he got the round! He got the round! That was by a sliver. I want to go by play by play. He got the round. Motion and look at how much more health they had. Oh my god. It was a sliver. It's not over. It's not over yet, Caboose. He's going to go for another unblockable titanium tigers with his back to the corner here. Hayate trying to keep the pressure on 100%. Lockdown. Nice. Oh, Armor breaker. Armor breaker. 32% off that combo there and no Short defensive up. meter now for Titanium Tigers. He's got to be so careful. Stuck in the corner. Oh, shit. Oh, amplified Fireball. Titanium. Ayate starting to, starting to realize and, that, and, like, the ground stomp. And notice, man, Titanium is very hesitant to throw out that stomp because El Kukui kind of got him traumatized, you know, to throw out the stomp like a maniac. Hold on, though. Life bar are, they're about as even as can be here. He's going to go for another stomp. Go oh. with it. Oh, my God. Yeah, he opens him up. That was possible. Oh, my God. Hayate does have access to Fatal Blow. A combo does, into Fatal Blow it. can finish it. One hit will do it. Caboose, I can't watch, bro. Whoa. Nice. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's that's it. No, he missed it. Oh, my God. But it still landed Titanium Tigers. That is just as unfortunate as it gets there. Because Titanium Tigers, by the way, I think he had the name. Oh, no, we can go to game time. Never mind. Never mind. Um, Titanium Tigers no, that's it. thought that the Fatal Blow was going to land. That was it. And so, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it. That was it. That's so unfortunate. Titanium, Titanium Tiger thought the Fatal Blow was going to land, so probably just let go of block in that scenario. And then, of course, because of that, he still gets caught by it. There could have been an opportunity there for Titanium Tigers to have blocked that Fatal Blow, but he must have just given up, assuming that it was going to land. You can't really assume in a situation like that. You'll never know. But, uh, oh, man. Game session to synchronize. Guys, oh, I mean, don't do that. <laughs> I mean, this this titanium. It was it was such a close match. I I feel his pain. That was probably just like yeah, he wanted to, he wanted to get out of there as soon as possible. Yeah. But man, that concludes the first rounds for tonight. Caboose was that yeah. a fucking match or what? All those I matches, mean, that, that, all those matches were crazy. Heartbreaker. That ending is a heartbreaker. For I it know. Being an elimination match, and for for there to have been a possibility, all. All Titanium Tigers had to do was hold block. And he actually Seriously. Alive there. The, but the and thing he would have been able to get the punish. Bro, he thought Dude. he was dead already. That's how crazy that moment was. Yeah. He literally, he yeah. probably just put the controller down. He was like, GG's. And then when the yeah. shit whiffed and he got up into it, I was just like, okay. Llama Santa Maria and fucking deliver 10 boxes of X-Milk to this guy. Pronto. Yeah, that is super, super unfortunate. We wish the best of luck to Titanium Tigers. And uh, that's it. I mean, Hayate... Moves on now to face off against. Right, I sent you another invite to uh, restore this. Oh, okay. King yeah, of the yeah, Hill. Yeah. And yeah, let's take a look at the brackets real fast. Hopefully they are yeah. updated here. Shout out to Mary Luna running the brackets on the back end of things. And yes, we got the brackets updated. As you can see, we're going to be moving on to the uh, winner's final here shortly, where it's going to be El Kukui going up against Get Wrecked. And then over in the lower bracket, we got Jukes, who will be going up against Hayate. And then Too Easy, who's going to be facing off against Honeybee. This action oh, yeah. has been ridiculous. The support for the Champions of the Rome series has been absolute insanity. I appreciate everybody for tuning in every week and showing love and support. But yeah, Caboose, I think we need a quick break after that action. I agree. We got to take a little bit of a breather because there was some insane matches that we just saw take place. But oh my goodness, the insanity is just going to continue. If you're looking at that bracket, there are some heavy hitters tonight. And again, only one of these guys can make it. Only one. Only one of these guys can make it. But we're going to take a quick break. We're going to take a breather. And when we come back, we'll have some more Champions of the Realms 2 action for you. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, everybody, to the Champions of the Realms Season 2 Final Qualifier. The action has been skyrocketed to the roof so far. Like... Dude, the last match that ended that we ended off with, Titanium Tigers going up against Hayate. Holy cow, was that a crazy match yes. right there. I was yeah. losing my mind. 
And Honestly, you know, my heart breaks. My heart breaks yo, for Titanium Tigers. When man. he when he dropped the, the fucking fatal blow and then it hit him at the last part. Because literally, like all that chill. needed to happen there was Titanium Tigers holds block. He punishes the fatal blow on block, and it's like a whole different ball game from there. It is what it is. It's unfortunate. I hope someone, a player like Titanium Tigers, doesn't dwell on something like that. You just, it's all good. Just uh, brush it off, come back stronger. Still a lot of competition in other areas and other avenues. And maybe, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe here too. We'll yeah, see. It's going to be crazy. And we no, are seriously, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. important. I was going to say it's important. Like, follow CGL. Make sure yes. you're following their Twitch. Make sure you're following their Twitter because that's where the finale is going down. It's not going to be on Destroyer's channel, not going to be on my channel. Now, granted, if you guys come to our Six. channels, we're going to be hosting. So you're not going to miss anything if you accidentally come here and you don't remember. But. Follow them. Make sure you're prepared. Not even just for Coder. Not even just for Champions of the Road. Yes. But they also got a ton of other things going on for Console Gaming League that you guys should absolutely check out. They are the sponsor of this tournament. They sponsored Season 1. Provided $1,000 to the prize pool for both seasons. Yeah, they're $150 blessings. $150 every single week. I think there's still another $150 prize pool Holy. for this week. So, That's right. You know, like so much money being provided for Champions of the Realms thanks to Console Gaming League, and we cannot appreciate them enough for all that they've done. A big, big thank you to them. But okay, our next match underway. We got Too Easy facing off against Honeybee once again in the lower bracket, battling it out. Both of these competitors. Too Easy was sent to the lower bracket by El Kukui. Honeybee in this top has been in like as many top eights as I could possibly remember. I know he wants this just as bad. Yeah, you've been talking anyone. about that the whole day. I actually want to get facts and see if he I was. I want to see, yeah. I want to see if he was in all the top eights, like you said, because if that's the truth, Honeybee's been popping off in this damn tournament. He definitely needs to get into this uh, finale, if that's the case, bro. El Kukui. El Kukui. <laughs> Oh shit, too easy. With a near flawless victory right there. Man, was that crazy stuff. Beautiful Fight. stuff there. From oh, the Tuizy, four, the four, four plus four. frames. Okay, I really respect that. He went with the back two straight into the uh, the creeping ice, keeping it safe. Wow. Clipping him right out of the air. Gonna get an ice ball conversion straight into crush. Beautiful. Mad damage. Oh my god. Too easy, he's taking no prisoners right now. <laughs> wait a Run. minute, wait a minute. Honey, wait can make one minute. Comeback. He can make this comeback. Wait one second. Oh my it's god, Caboose, don't tell me, bro. Don't tell me this. Oh you my can't. god! He's gonna he's do it! Around. This is fatal blow territory, I think he's dead! Oh, oh he's, he's dead. dead. He's dead. He might not even need to use he's it. Dead. He might not even need to use it. Yeah, he Yo. didn't even need to the Fatal Blow Destroyer. Huge combo off the anti-air crush. Oh Honeybee still in this. God. Honeybee, no. He's going to wrap him up like a present in the corner here. Keeping the lockdown. Oh, look at this okay. setup. Too easy. He, he, he doesn't have a chance right now. Wait a second. Wait a, wait a second. He's going to get out the corner. Finally, the double over overhead is going to connect. They're getting into a little poke war. Good low. Oh, that's a whip punish. If I've ever seen one. How much damage are we looking at here? Or maybe he's going to go for the setup. He goes for the setup. Good blocks on the overhead. And I think that's going to close it out. Game, game number one going to Honeybee. And the brutal. Honeybee earned that victory after the ridiculous comeback that oh he made. And now there's no like fatal Bro. blow comeback. A lot of the time we see these comebacks involve the fatal blow. No, 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 no. Honeybee just reacting on a jump in with the anti-air crushing blow and gets a massive combo off of it that was pretty much guaranteed regardless of breakaway. What a madman Honeybee is. A godlike play from a godlike player taking game one. That was straight insanity, man. Let's see if Honeybee is going to be able to keep up this phenomenal play going into the rest of this set here. Because we saw Too Easy was kind of in full control in the beginning, honestly. He started off the set with a near flawless victory. And that just kind of made something snap in Honeybee's head, you know? He said, I will make you big the young. And he just fucking popped huh? off. The what? Huh? <laughs> what? What happened? What did he say? What did he say? <laughs> What'd he say? <laughs> what? 
The Vora say something? Never mind. That man. bitch better take it easy. He always Slayer with the resub. Much appreciated, brother. Big shout out to Slayer. Oh, there we go. As a general note, sorry to try. I don't want to derail the commentary here or anything, but I just wanted to give a big shout out. I saw that there were a couple people who subbed, used their, their prime gaming subs and everything, gifted subs and all that. I apologize if I missed anything. You guys know we're commentating the action. We're trying to keep up to date with everything going on in the game. Thank you all very, very much for the support. And I did also realize as well that I just crossed 16,000 followers Holy on Twitch. Holy shit. You guys are incredible. Yo. Thank you all so, so much for the support. 16,000? You guys are nuts. You guys are nuts. Thank uh, you. You're going to have to give me some, though. Okay, 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 okay. Yo, we're going to take game number one here going in. I mean, round number one going into game number two. This is looking so clean right now for Honeybee. Starting off with a beautiful tag right there. Dude, Two Easy's in big trouble here. He's just been taking all of this pain coming from Honeybee. There we go. Finally going to answer back. He gets a flawless block into the up two. Let's see what he does here. I mean, he still has his back to the corner. And it, when you're back in the corner with a player like Honeybee, that is just, it's a nightmare situation, dude. Whoa. Overhead into Creeping Ice, trying to keep things safe here. Good throw. Gonna tag him with the low into the overhead. The mix, baby. Holy shit. Oh, no. no crushing blow. Okay, just gonna opt to go for a bunch of standing twos. No! Nice. Oh, block. No, the Honeybee did not just do that. No, Honeybee did not. Oh, God. Is he going to do another he comeback? He flawless block. Oh, oh, no, that wasn't. Why did he do it again? No, was that a flawless he block he caught at the end there? He, he did. He did. That is something that you could do. And I think he did it again. If I saw correctly there, I think he got another flawless block, but he didn't have the defensive meter to get the wake up. That is the tech right there against Creeping Ice. You time it just correctly, you can get that flawless block in. And then, of course, you want to go for the up three way. Whoa! Flawless blocks, blocks have been going left to right in this match. I don't know how many amplified slides that is, but of course, he is building to that crushing blow. Nice confirm. Oh. He's going to get a juicy combo here. Didn't amplify it. I think he has a crushing blow locked and loaded already, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, too easy. Doesn't really have to go off of it just yet. This is the last fucking round. Oh, wake up back roll there from Honeybee. Oh, no. A bit of distance. Got the jump in. Oh. Anti-air. I think he's dead. Hold on. I Let me not jinx know. it. Okay. Too uh, wait, no, what? He the other location. But the chip out, or not the chip out, actually. He just got the hits in, and that'll be game two going to too easy. We're all tied up. You sure that wasn't chip out? That wasn't. If I'm looking back, I think Honeybee did have two defensive meter. Wow. I wonder... Honeybee probably try to go for another flawless block opportunity there to just try to save Maybe. himself from the chip out situation. But goddamn, too easy. He's gonna answer back with the Night King Sub Zero, and this is gonna be a tied situation here. We're going one to one. Too easy versus Honeybee. Get hype. Final qualifier. This shit's crazy. Yo, Spanky, Spanky, dude, bump that shit up a bit. I like this song. If Spanky Doodle can't get his shit together and figure out what he's got to do with his job, then I promise you, I am going to elbow drop him off the top rope. Oh my God. Relax. No. You don't got to do Spanky Doodle Spanky like that. Doodle, no, no, no. no, no. You don't got to do, 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 do Spanky Doodle. You don't got to do You don't got to do Spanky Doodle like that. Second of all, Spanky Doodle, follow me on Instagram. Comment on my Instagram. This guy. All right, slam him. Spanky Doodle slapping me in the back of my neck right now. Slam him. Slam me in the back of your neck. He slapped me in the back of my neck. Slam this motherfucker. Slam this motherfucker now. When are you gonna fight? First of all, first of all, I mean, we see, we heard why, why Gemini's music, right? Like, when are we gonna get it? Like, what was that about? Second of all, second of all, Fragrance Journey made the sickest theme for Champions of Rome. And you're gonna, and you're gonna let Spanky Doodle be the DJ, the guy. He's gonna slap you in the back of the neck. We gotta do something about this. We gotta do something. I'm telling Ooh, you. He gets a jump in. Hold on, Honeybee, right now. Trying to gain control of this set here. Oh, another nasty confirm coming from Too Easy. He's gonna go for the jump in one. And straight into a throw. The juicy stuff. Listen, if you're not sipping on Ice Shatter G Fuel right now while watching this incredible Sub Zero gameplay, I don't know what the hell to tell you anymore. I'm gonna leave it at that. This guy tweeting in the chat goes, G Fuel stands for Giovanni. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did not. He really said that. I gotta see this. <laughs> nice, Wallace. 
blocked there from Too Easy and the combo to follow up. Good sweep from Honeybee. Oh, another flawless block from Too Easy. Beautiful. Yo, Giovanni's gonna get his own G Fuel flavor, bro. Here we oh, go. That's the Here game. we go. That's the game. Too Here we Easy go. is up 2 1 now. Damn. Being up against, uh, being up 2-1 with a character like Sub-Zero is, that's a good position to be in. Too Easy must be feeling himself here. Going into this potential final game, you know, Too Easy's gonna have a lot of control. Uh, now I say that because he has another game to work with. So as a Sub-Zero player, knowing you have that safety net of a match, you can go crazy, you know? You can fucking mix until your heart is content. Let's yeah. see if that's gonna be the case. Without a doubt. Too easy right now, staying alive here. Honeybee, gotta dig deep. Sub Zero, Devora. The Honeybee sticking with the Devora. We, we do know he has a really good uh, new Cybot. I was checking out his uh, his match, his run on his YouTube channel. Everybody go check out Honeybee's YouTube channel. But I was checking out his matches, and and he he whip, he was whipping out new Cybot in some of the tournament pool plays. What? No way. He was, bro. Go check it out for yourself. Oh man, I got it. I definitely gotta watch then. I haven't seen Honeybee play Noob Saba in a minute. Oh, the whip punish straight off of the jump in Honeybee landing into a bomb. That's wow. A big there, four too easy. Honeybee getting a couple of hits in though. No way. Follow up. No Good way. Good jumping. Tries to go for the overhead. He staggered it too easy. What did I tell you? He's gonna start doing the fucking crazy Sub Zero shit now. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be kind of a kind of the RNG for Honeybee. Gets in a couple of those forward twos, a couple of those back threes. You can get some of those 50-50s. Like he does it again. There. Oh, not able to get the air to air. Okay, had a punish. Okay, anti air. This is potentially the round of combo is gonna fatal. No defensive meter for too easy to break away. Is a, oh, gonna have to oh eat yeah, this. this is a round. Actually, he might not even need to use fatal. Are you kidding me? How much damage is this gonna be? What the hell is happening? What? Oh my 52 percent Santa Maria, you the me, please! Oh my god, he did not oh, need to use gosh. fatal blow at all. 52 percent. That was ridiculous. I mean, that Honeybee kind of needed that because he is down the set here. He's down 2-1 against Too Easy. Too Easy, he's going to go for the Creeping Ice. Whoa, nice. oh, that was so sick. That he flawless block. That on both sides. We've been seeing it the, the entire fucking night so far. Very good. He's going to wrap him up. He's going to wrap him up. I think he's getting ready to send him to Giovanni. Whoa! Oh, no. You saw that side switch, bro? Yeah, not gonna save you from that trap. Done, those neutral jumps. Flawless blocks there on the positive rush. Honeybee holding this corner. Doesn't block the forward two that time. He's got a couple of those forward twos though, and that has certainly helped. Block the M5 Yo, and ball. another crazy thing to remember is Honeybee didn't go off his fatal blow for that massive combo. He still has yep. access to that shit. Yeah. If too easy takes his round. Oh my god, that could have been it. The overhead's gonna connect. What is he gonna do? He risks. He no put everything sir. on the table. Too easy. Thought that he could get away with the Sub Zero Classic Four Two is the Fatal, but Honeybee who, was ready for who, it. Who remembers Galaga? That is the Galaga brutality right there. Oh yeah, you gotta shoot the bugs going up. You gotta shoot the bugs. Man, that was some real good defense there from Honeybee. I think he blocked just about every forward two attempt that we saw from Too Easy. And I have a feeling that because of that, unless Too Easy is willing to just go for it, play the RNG, try and run those 50-50s again, he might switch characters. Oh no, okay, never mind, never mind. I was thinking maybe he would think about it, but definitely not. Gonna be sticking with the Sub-Zero. That's all Honeybee's got to do once again is guess those forward twos a couple more times because then you you cancel the opportunity to be opened up by that amplified ice ball. You shut down the opportunity to take the damage from the slide. All you're taking is a little bit of chip at the end of the day when that forward two is blocked. You are right about that, but here we go. Final Sorry. game between Honeybee and Too Easy. This is going down in the lower bracket. So whoever loses this is unfortunately out of the tournament. Forward to 
and the ice ball connects. We were just talking about that forward two. It seems to have worked just then for too easy. 4-4 four, four now. Good tech there from Honeybee. The jump in is going to connect with a couple hits into a combo. Damn, he's keeping this damage on lockdown. Catching him on the back nice dash roll. Goodness. That was not the right move for too easy. Honeybee is just giving it all he's got here. Oh, the setup didn't work. What was that about? Did he hit when him too much? The, yeah, when we do the non-amplified, if you get hit real, real quick, it, uh, it gets shut down. Mm. Here, he's gonna get it this time. Oh, is he gonna get? He's gonna get a comp. No! Wow. Able to keep him in. In yo, that was ridiculous. That shit the kept trap. him in check, bro. He was not able to get his game killing combo because of the bugs. Maybe he should have just threw the fatal blow from that distance just to get that damage. I don't Maybe. know. But match point for Maybe. Honeybee. This is it. I realized there's another game five too. My goodness. Yo, final qualifier. What would you expect? You thought uh, little Susie Sally was gonna come in here? Yeah, I did. You didn't think Susie Sally was gonna be in this? Nope. You stupid? I didn't think. Oh, the bug gonna oh. knock him out of the combo? I don't think Honeybee wanted that, but hey. 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 Why not? Hey. hey. Why not? Hey. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> Oh, the counter. Honey B is about a touch away from putting himself in the loser semis. Man, look at the chip That's damage. That's it. Damage. I think he's oh, dead. Is that? I don't think so. Magic oh, Pixel, wow. baby. You have four too easy. Magic Pixel. Making a comeback against a character like Devora who has all these bug setups. Oh, that's chip out. GG's. Yeah, that is guaranteed. And Honey Bee takes the set, eliminates too easy, and will be moving on in the lower bracket. Yo, with the fatality and everything. Look at this Night King having a little fucking seizure right now. Oh my God, what's happening? Ah! Holy shit. Why the Vora got to do this one? Why she got to be this one? Why she got to? Why she got to do this, huh? Spanky, gotta, Spanky Doodle's throwing up right now. She, oh my God! Spanky Doodle's throwing up right now, bro. Spanky Doodle's just got like not an ounce of professionalism. Spanky either. Doodle's throwing up right now, bro. Like, Spanky Doodle is just like, just come on, man. You gotta get it together, Spanky Doodle. Yeah, he really does. Oh, also, um, I also want to give a big shout out to uh, the Madman Who Laughs. Uh, you know, he jumped in 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 in, in, in a and he, he wanted to sponsor the tournament for the endings. Uh, I wish we could have got to work with him, you know, in the beginning of the series, so we could have justified his book a little better. But things are being cooked up, so don't worry. But I just want to give a big shout out, man. You know, if anybody wants to check out this book, it uh. It, it, it's 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 a great book. It has a bunch of quotes from a madman himself. Me and Kaboos yeah. got confirmation. This is a a serious madman, and these <laughs> quotes are just like insights of life, you know, in different perspectives. And the book is just compromised of of a bunch of quotes, and you can just you know read these quotes. They could bring joy and laughter to you, or they could just you know give you better insight in, into it into things. It makes you think. It you makes you think. So, yeah, so absolutely check it out. Exclamation point Madman in chat. Exclamation and he's point Madman. a bunch of prize pool of Champions of the Rums as well. So we can't yeah. say, like, can't thank him enough. We and can. yeah, you know, we talked to the guy. He's a madman. <laughs> he is a madman. Highly recommend checking out the book. Like Destroyer said, there's some quotes in there that, uh, that are pretty crazy, but also give you a little bit of a perspective just on whatever it might be. You know, it's interesting yeah. to, to read about, to hear about, and to have that different perspective. So we highly recommend you guys check it out. The link is there if you hit exclamation point madman and chat. Big shout outs. Yeah. To the uh, me, me and Caboose also, we went ahead and made a video, uh, you know, in dedication oh. to the book. And we're, we're going to, yeah, we're going to go ahead. We're going to drop it real quick. Just uh, two seconds. You guys might be a little confused, but this is what happens when you read the book. <laughs> All right. So definitely check right. out the book.
Sharpen your swords. We are born into battle. It's sharpen your swords. We are this into battle. Excess is not drawn. It's fire's time. We're going to be getting into our next match here. It's going to be Ayate <laughs> versus Jukes. Uh, yeah, man, check out the book, exclamation point, madman in the chat. If you guys want to get more insight on that. I mean, you know that video, you watching that video, you're like, damn, what the fuck? What's going on? This guy's reading the evil dead sorcery books? <laughs> what the hell is this guy's reading? I, I, I do want to point out real quick, because I kept talking about it when we were, when we were watching that Honeybee match. I was looking through, if I'm correct, I think all but two weeks Honeybee has made top eight for Champions of the Realm Season 2. And what? I think it was, it might have been week two and week four, if I remember hey. correctly, where he wasn't in top eight. So, that, again, making this run in the lower bracket, we'll see how it goes. But right now, we got Jukes, we got Hayate. This should make for an insane set. I cannot oh, yeah. wait to see what goes down between these two competitors. Hayate is someone we didn't see for a majority of Season 2, now in the final top eight. Then he maybe qualify. Oh, nice armor breaker there. And listen, Hayate is definitely a player that's capable of going all the way to the grand finals and taking this shit home. Like, I'm telling you, he, he's done incredible things in the FGC. Let's see what happens here. Jukes is going to catch the grab. Hey, respects the Black History Month uh, tag on Jukes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I said that when we, when we were watching during the school play. Oh, Black he had History. that? Yeah, he did. He did. I didn't even realize it, but yeah, shout out to, to Jukes. Repping. Let's see what happens here. He's going with the, the wind pushes. Good throw. Hayate right now. Gonna pull him in again. Not gonna go for the full combo extension, but that was some good fucking damage right there. Oh, that's a punish. This could potentially round. Oh, never mind. I thought he was gonna go for more leaps, but I guess he didn't have the meter to do that. This is scary. Look at both of these players hold and block. A throw gonna connect for Jukes. Has the life lead now. Oh, Hayate gets caught by the low ground pound, and the amplification will get Jukes the round. Oh, he's gonna knock him out of the air with another wind push. Oh, the leap! Nasty punish! I, I think that was a trip guard. I'm not too sure. Hayate timed that perfectly right there. He's gonna skywalk a out of danger. Oh god. Hayate is just going ham! Clean jump in. Goes for another one. I'm not seeing any flawless blocks or nothing coming from Jukes. He's just holding in all this jump in pressure from Hayate. I don't know why. Maybe because Hayate was realizing he doesn't have much defensive meter. This is just all guaranteed at this point. Good grab tech. Is Jukes going to be able to make this comeback? Wow. Shutting it down. Incredible stuff there from Hayate. Who oh, tries to fly away? Oh, oh, nicely done. The air there connects off the leap there for Jukes. Has the corner control. This is, uh, this is scary. This is very scary. Good short hop mix. I mean, Hayate didn't get opened up, but that chip damage was on the table there. Nice right, done there for Hayate. Big conversion. Ooh. The leap! Flawless block! Bro, what is going on? This is such a back and forth match. Oh, that's gonna be a punish! I felt like Jukes could have caught more, but I mean, he, he had the fatal. He oh, wanted to chase it down. There from Hayate. Definitely wanted to chase it down. Holy shit, oh. that didn't kill. He still he won. Oh my finish. god, is this shit out? not gonna be he's gonna run to the other side of the screen with skywalker kind of it's the flying skywalker. everywhere he was maybe looking for the leap hayate is just running across the screen <laughs> constantly he's running again <laughs> he's slowly chipping him out oh, oh my god oh my god oh my god 
Oh my god. Oh my god. I think I'm dead. Game one goes to Juke. Bro, how? How the fuck did that just happen? How the fuck did that just happen? What is going on here? This dude was flying back and forth like this was the fucking Shaolin monks or something. And the next thing you know, Juke just catches him out of nowhere. Drops the fatal blow. And that's going to be a GG's. The last thing we expected. The last thing we expected, bro. That was unreal. A photo finish if I've ever seen one. But Jukes with a highway robbery. Jackie Griggs. Fujin. I don't know, Destroyer. I feel like we're in for a hell of a set here. With the way that that, first, that was the first game. That was game one. When I tell you my shooting pipos are feeling very uncomfortable right now, whew, uh huh. I'm in oh, pain. You're, you're, then you're being honest. I'm being honest. You're being 100% about it. You want me to be honest? I'm just being honest. You're just being honest? All right, let's get into this, man. Juke's taking game. Was that game number one? Yes, taking game, game one. number one. Damn. Game one. Oh, he's going to shut that down. Good throw. Smash his back. Hey, kind of flying to the other side of the screen there. I like it. And the movement of this character, Fujin, is just such a fast-paced character to play against. It is, but um, I want to know. Does he not have the drill sword in this variation? Because... I don't think so. Yeah, because notice, like, there were so many opportunities, I felt like he could have ended it, but instead... Yeah, he's got the force push. He chose to fly away. Yeah, he's, he's got the force push instead, I think. He's a Jedi? He's a Jedi, yeah, the force push. I mean, look at him. He's running on air. Isn't it? He's literally... His, his, his move is Skywalk. Oh, Skywalk. my God! I feel like that's a good way to answer back for the round that Jukes kind of stole. So you're saying Mads Mikkelsen is a Jedi? Oh my god. I mean, he was in a Star Wars movie. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that was sick. I never saw that string before from Fujin. Where the hell did that come from? Escape fail. Escape fail. Fujin does have a crushing blow with the throw on either side. Oh, two-way crush? That is nasty. Oh, yeah, that's right. He, he didn't replace the, uh, the warp needle with the... Uh, with the force push, you replace it with the wind kick. Mm. The armor breaker. Smart Which stuff. Which has worked out. We've seen that armor breaker a couple of times. Yeah, he's using it to close out, to close out sets for sure. Wow, that was a nice restand coming out of Jukes right there. Oh, gonna make him whiff. Going nice. right into the low Whoa. Jukes right now. Everything is working out for him. Oh wow, just a raw down too. Cross up. Oh shit, I think that's oh, that. that is wait. wait, no, what? Oh no. Wait, 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 wait. Bro, this is the final qualifier. You cannot give anybody a chance. And this is this is the result you're gonna get. You give the player a chance, especially someone like Hayate. Dude, you're gonna get fucked over for it. Oh my god. He had a clean fatal blow conversion right there. And he just he said, No, I don't wanna give it to you. There was just a missed input there because I can't imagine Jukes just leaves that string on its own. Doesn't even go for a dash punch. He must have tried to go for fatal and just missed the input or something because you cannot. You're right. In a situation like that, got to spend your fatal blow. When the health bars are so close, got to spend your fatal blow. Guarantee yourself the round. And then off the jump in there, Hayate just punishes with a fatal blow of his own and ends the game. Now up 2-0. Oh, I'm, I'm not trying to raise the... I'm not trying to get people nervous here. Jukes, Jukes won the last game. I told Wait, you, you just cut it's off a little bit. One -one. No, no, no. It's not, never mind, never mind, never mind. It's 1-1. One -one. I thought it was 2-0 Hayate, but I totally forgot that there was that crazy fatal blow finish from Jukes in the first game. Wow. Kick him out. Kick him out of the studio. Get him out of you here. Locked, you locked me in the studio. I can't leave. Keep him in the studio. Keep him in the studio. You locked me in. Keep him in. Keep him in. Don't let him leave. Don't let him leave. Round one. All right, all right, all right. Let him out. Let him out. Let him out. Yo, Spanky, where's the music? Nice little combo there for Hayate. 
Why, uh, why is Hayate's variation name uh, sponsored by Luigi? <laughs> Wow! Man is fucking playing Mario Party. Oh no, you know what it is? I was watching his uh his stream yesterday, right? When he was fighting his his max to get into top eight. Uh -huh. And he does this like this war taunt that's kinda it goes he goes, wah! He'd be like, wah! Oh okay. So I think that's okay. where it comes from. I thought it was uh Oh no no, it's it's <laughs> it's, 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 one, no! <laughs> he just didn't have enough of the text. I gotta go. Uh. <laughs> oh, nicely done. A little down four, I believe it was, into a down one to take that round. Hayate doing a really good job here. So keeping Jukes at bay. He said, Wah! He said, Wah! Wah! He said, Yahoo! Wah! All right, I gotta go. I want I somebody know. to edit it in. I want to. I want somebody to edit it in like the Mario noises when he's jumping. I don't know. Around. If you trying to get us a lawsuit from Nintendo or what? But you better <laughs> chill out with this fucking Mario shit. Woohoo! I'm gonna do that every time. Every time a uh, Juke leaps with Jackie. All right, fine. If you do that, then I'm gonna call in the security guards. <laughs> well, wait, hey, hey. Yo, Spanky, do the pause. The, Spanky, pause the music. Pause the music. Bring him in. You You're done Wait, for. Hey, You're hey, done hey, for, Caboose. Hey, hey, hey. Jesus. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Alright, we're gonna calm down? Alright. Oh, God. Okay. Alright, alright. Alright, you guys, you guys, enough, enough. Let him commentate. Let him commentate. Wait. Hayate's gonna go up two to one here. Oh, no. This is dangerous I, stuff right now. They just slapped the shit out of me. They showed up. They started slapping me in the face. Well, you gotta defend yourself at that point. Uh, what do you want me to do? I'm I, like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what you want me to do, man. You you, you got you got a bunch of security guys busted at my door. And then like, what do you want me to do? Fight them? No. I gotta show you. I gotta show you what our security looks like. <laughs> okay. So you can get a get an idea of what's attacking you. <laughs> Let me get an image right now. I'm gonna send to the Discord. Damn, it's hard to find images of these guys. Who is it? The Dominican man? Oh, it's these guys. This guy hit the story and searched it up. He sent me a Google link. Jesus Alright, well, here we go. Here we go. We're in game four. I have to one right now. Trying to keep it together. Juice. Looking to get a couple of hits in. I can shoot the plasma ball out there. Jump that back too. That is going to be one of the more threatening tools in the arsenal that Ayate has here with Fusion. Is that back too. Once you're in that mid range, you're going to be so careful as a Jackie Brick player or just any character on the roster to watch out 100, for that back. 100%. All right, just walk, taking a step back here. We got blue plasma all over the screen. He's gonna use the force push like Caboose calls it. Which what? isn't, which isn't a, hey, hey, hey! Hey! What? Hey! What? <laughs> what happened? Nothing. What happened? Nothing. I was just gotta fucking get Mario out of here, man. <laughs> Bro, what do you want me to do? That's Jackie making that noise when she leaves. What? You oh. know, like, I don't know what you want me to do. Oh, I thought she goes. So you can. Wait a second. He's gonna go for the low slide. This could be dangerous stuff here. 
for Jukes. I mean, Hayate is one round away from closing this out. One round away. Oh, fishing out the armor breaker. Jukes not giving it to him. The counter hit. This is bad news, Bears. This is right. bad news, Gersons. Nice crush there off oh, the new shit. from the throw. Hold on. Oh, Hayate's burning in the corner. You gotta be so careful though if you're Jukes. One hit in the fatal, and that wraps things up here. Oh, Hayate goes for the low slide. That could have been death. One, two, four, three, wow. amplified plasma ball. Jukes stays alive. Oh, damn. We'll see how this goes down. He's gonna go with the wind push for a second time, a third time. Oh shit, he's here for, a, uh, for another run, huh? Good shot oh, out of the air. He's gonna put another one underground. Tries to dodge the plasma balls with a slide. I mean, that is the right way to use that tool. I swear, dude, you, you look at Fujin's moveset and call me crazy, but it reminds me of Tribor for some weird reason. I don't know why. I don't, I'll tell you what I do know. Another game five for tonight. You, you guys kidding? better get used to this. You guys better get used to this. It's the final week before the finale. These players, Bro. they are not messing around. Not like they were before, but especially tonight. I feel like I feel like at this point, we just let these matches run with no commentary at all, and the shit would just be fucking super crazy still. Every time Jackie jumps up, you go, Wahoo! I know, right? Just get a big-ass soundboard, and, and it, instead of commentary, we turn it into fucking sound effects. Yahoo! Every time the c competitors crouch, we're going to do this. <laughs> what are we going to do? Oh, you heard it. Don't play stupid. You heard it. <laughs> the Jarek? You heard it. To you. So you, you locked it. me in the studio. You let Jarek into the studio. You heard it. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Don't play today, stupid. Huh? You heard it. So I so I can't leave the studio. Jarek can Jarek can come into the studio. You want to hear it again? Nope. <laughs> I give it to you one more time. I swear to God. But the next time you're gonna have to pay. <laughs> hey 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 hey. Yo, final game between Jukes and Hayate. How do you feel about this, man? I'm a little nervous. Goro literally died watching this fucking set. <laughs> he's sitting on that throne and he just... He, he's gone. Nice back two there. Hayate so far having a really good start to this game. The half a health bar is a life lead, although Jukes is gonna work on that. Short hop connects, looks for the jump in, gets down one. Into the back one, one string. Oh, oh my Holy god! About to connect good plasma ball from Jukes. That was pretty wild the way the plasma just stopped him right in his tracks. Nice instant air there from Hayate. I think this is gonna be the game. Yes, it is, Hayate. Match point. Hell of a combo conversion there from Hayate, and yes, indeed, match point. Although, you don't want to count out Jukes just yet. That character, Jackie Briggs, capable of a lot of things. Went for the down two into another plasma ball. Look how much Hayate is burned here. Neutral jump, punish, another plasma ball thrown out. Skywalker amplified. Hayate gets a combo, sends Jukes into the corner, jumping in, down one. Nice cancel. Still get some hits in. Oh, the, the throw prank. escape. That was very good stuff here. Let's see if Hayate can turn things around a bit. I mean, Jukes does have a really good advantage. Gonna get the leap. Oh, that was an incredible read. Oh my God. Jukes, one time. How did that whiff? Oh my God. Oh my God, he gets the throw. Wait a minute. Oh no. Oh, the breakaway just in time before the fatal blow was activated. Jukes gonna shoot the plasma. He put some damage over time. Hayate though. What could he got? Should, couldn't you have gotten the punish with the dash punch there off the back one string? Can't you oh, punish that? Oh shit! He's burning! Another throw! That's Hayate it! Hayate will That's take it. it! And he's gonna push the dead off of Jackie Briggs' bones! You are dust in the Yo, the classic <laughs> fatality. This man just blew her away. Literally. Very good stuff. Hayate taking it three to two. Hayate shuts down Jukes, shuts down the Jackie Briggs, and moves on to the loser semifinal to face off against Honeybee.
My goodness, another game five, and it ends as close as it did. I seriously can't believe the hype that is this week. This is unreal. Sheesh, man. This, this week is, is getting wild. And I think, uh, yup, we're going to be moving in to our winner's final now, Caboose. Our winner's final where we're going to be going to check out El Kukui versus Kukui. Get Wrecked. It doesn't get any crazier than that. And, you know, if you go, if you hit exclamation point bracket and take a look at, at the bracket right now, it's like the bracket almost looked like it was reversed. Like the players, they came out, they upset at everybody in their path, and they really kicked ass. Uh, let's, let's take a look at the bracket over here so you guys can see the action that is underway. Yeah, man, we got the, the yeah, we got the loser semifinals Hayate going up against Honeybee and now we're gonna be getting into the winner's final here El Kukui versus get wrecked. Are you ready for this shit, bro? Cuz you know yeah. like getting into that grand finals winner side That's that's big That's some of the biggest stuff, you know in in the tournament like getting that three game cushion is it, It's huge. It's huge. We say that but how many weeks has there been in season two where we have seen the people on the loser side of the bracket make the run back and actually qualify for champions eight weeks this was eight weeks this is the final eighth week all leading up to the finale that's going to be going down on the 19th over on cgo one's twitch channel like dude and i gotta say i don't know how the hell caboose i don't know how every single week managed to be like each week just got hyper crazier more action more sweat i don't know yeah. how it just kept building up and and the way this tournament series played out like it, it has to be the other gods doing honestly it has to be the other gods doing bro that's the only God. explanation that really is the only explanation that i can think of too because honestly here we are now in the final week the hype has been so real el kakui going to be rocking the cetrion once again and get wrecked is going to be playing with Wu Kang. We actually have seen this Wu Kang before, and it's done work for Get Wrecked. So let's see if we're going to be able to continue that trend here in this final top eight. Nicely done. Reading the jump. Oh, yeah. Boy. The air projectile. And this is winner's finals, folks. So if whoever takes this match is going to be moving into that grand, grand final spot with a juicy three game cushion. Whoa! The rock wall. The rock wall. The Hia! Hia! Hiya, hiya, hiya. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. yeah. I know what you're saying. Oh my god, sit the fuck down. What the hell is this variation name? Say hi to Owen. <laughs> I'm done. Maybe he wants maybe El Kukui wants us to say hi to Owen. Hi Owen. How you doing, Owen? Owen, how you doing? Hiya! Oh shit, Owen. What the fuck? Startled me there. Yo! I need to see a shit ton of tree pogs right now. If, oh, yeah, if you need, got, if you got the tree pog emo, if you got the tree pog emo. Not stop. This is an iconic stage right now for the champs of the realms. Ooh, he's gonna try to hit him with the tornado, a second tornado. Kind of just backing away here. Get wrecked. What's it gonna be? Oh, I, yo, he threw the kick to kind of avoid that boulder. Did you see that? Yeah. That was some good maneuvers coming up. out of Get Wrecked right there. Oh, Get Wrecked getting caught by the Amplified. Ground Pound catches the Dragon Kick, though. Projectile, gotta be really careful here against El Kukui, El Kukui, El Kukui. Nice Dragon Kick on Wake Up there to counter the rock. Dwayne Johnson. Is They're gonna add game. him as DLC? He's in the game already. He's gonna be he's gonna be a premier skin for for Shao Kahn. That's your has been throwing him. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Yo, the rock of Shao Kahn is actually kind of a pretty good cast. That would be sick, right? Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh. Nicely get wrecked. And look at the acrobatic moves from Liu Kang. Gonna so Cetrion that he's not afraid of nobody. Elder God or mortal. He'll take you on. Kick there again. That has been landing very successfully for Get Wrecked. Oh my god, that trade was epic. Whoa! Ooh. The fly kick crushing blow coming out of nowhere from Get Wrecked. 
Good the standing one. That we have seen from Get Wrecked is pretty ridiculous. Back throw, gonna connect for El Kukui. El Kukui. Good block. Goes for another toss at the boulder. Oh, the trade. I don't know if that was good. I think that works out, honestly, with the way that Get Wrecked currently has the life lead. I think he's currently he's perfectly fine with getting that amplified fireball trade. Straight fireball connects. Keeping the, the safe shit with the tornado. Smart stuff coming out of El Kukui here. You got the 2D monks just watching this. They're all in anticipation, seeing who will take this set. Yeah. You gotta be so careful here if you get wrecked. But you also gotta be careful if you're El Kukui. Fatal blow ready on oh both Oh god, sides. why did he confirm? Wow. The short we have hop. You've seen that a couple of times now. I think that's the second time I remember seeing that from El Kukui. He gets the restand off of that pressure and goes for a short hop right away, calling out the low block from Get Rek, taking game one. Beautiful stuff from El Kukui. El, El Kukui. El Kukui. El Kukui. El Kukui. El Kukui. Yo, Okukui is going crazy, man. Honestly, this man doesn't know how to just sit still and play the match, honestly. Just play the fucking match, Okukui. Why are you running around the whole everywhere screaming Okukui? What, what's wrong with you? What's the matter with you, man? Somebody get this guy some milk. Stop him or Somebody like... get this guy some milk. You're gonna stop the Somebody guy get this guy some doing? milk. Somebody get this guy some milk. Somebody get this guy some fucking... Somebody get this guy some fucking milk right now. He's on the floor. It looks like he's passing out. Somebody get him some fucking milk, please. Jesus Christ. Shit. Round one. Fight. What happened? He's out cold. I don't know what's going on. Who's playing then? No, Spanky Doodle. Oh, Spanky Doodle passed out? He passed out. It's too much hype. Shit. <laughs> we got about two six foot ten security guards pouring buckets of vex milk in his face and he's not he's not nudging bro let's forward four into the bicycle kick it's gonna hurt quite a bit get wrecked hold in this corner right now el kukui though gonna find a way to get some hits in and he finds his way out beautiful stand some pressure dragon kick Listen, all I gotta tell you, man, is Owen must be proud watching this. Who do you think? Yeah, we need to say hi to him. Owen, how you doing? El Kukui? El Kukui. I wanna see right now in the chat a hi, Owen. I wanna see a hi, Owen in the chat right now. Everybody say hi, Owen, right now. If you don't say hi, Owen, you're getting banned. Another throw, escape failed there. Wow. Maybe expecting a back throw. El Kukui takes the first round. Let's see what Owen's gonna do here. Goes for the standing one. Owen? <laughs> oh shit, the fireball is coming in hot from Get Wrecked. Hold on, hold on. You wanna see what Owen does here? What? Owen's playing now? What do you mean? You talking about Owen? I don't, dude, you're, I think you're losing your mind. Are Very you good. Owen? Oh my god, the trade! Owen must be pissed! <laughs> hold on, dude, wait, let Owen concentrate. What are, you, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh my I god. Get get been doing so good with that. Oh, oh crushing god. blow. Owen oh, literally on the verge being up 2 to 0. Oh. Get right. <laughs> well, I'm saying oh, Okukui, cool. are you hearing shit? <laughs> what do you mean? Rockwall flawless block. He goes for the fatal, the maniac. Get Rex a maniac. That does the it. Last that fatal. actually does it. I don't know it. if that's enough. I don't know if that's enough. He's Every dead. He might have a magic pistol. 32% damage. Dead. It's enough. Listen, it's enough. listen, that's one of the most fucked up fatal blows just for the fact that the character covers the life bar. Like you can't oh, even see if the last hit kills until it's over. Why does any fatal blow do that? That's <laughs> so wrong. You're over there biting your nails in this patient and then you're like, oh, fuck! Oh, they killed me! Fuck! Nice low projectile connects another one. Get yeah, wrecked, avoids both of those ground pounds. Yo, you see the giant milk duds just scattered all over the stage? The El Kukui? The El Kukui's? 
Very good stuff. He's going to go for the low ground pound cancel into a down poke. Man, I'm sorry, but Cetrion is categorized as an annoying ass zoner. But watching El Kukui play as her, it's just watching some annoying ass zoning. Listen, shout out to the Madman, exclamation point Madman in chat. There is a message to the madness that is Ooh, zoning. I like that. I like that. I live, I die. I die, I live. Rex has got to get in, gets the amplified straight projectile, lands another straight projectile. Good throw. And the throw again, this time closing out the game. El Kukui up 2-0 now. Oh man, how you feeling about this one, Caboose? Being down 2-0, oh. being down 2-0 against El, El Kukui? I mean, Owen? This is this is bad news. El, El Owen, how about that? <laughs> El Owen, yeah. How about I just, just Spanky do the chain? Oh, Spanky's still passed out. Shit. I think I gotta I gotta run the uh Shit, I gotta run all the stuff in the back end right now. Oh you're oh no. What you, you good? Centrio. You got another oh, control? Wait, 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 wait. I don't know, wait. man. Call me crazy, but I have some sick thought in the back of my head. I feel like get wrecked. Purposely puts himself in these 2-0 deficits just what? so just so he can prove to everybody that he is a three reverse 3-0 comeback king. That's uh that's a hell of a game theory if I've ever heard one. <laughs> I don't know if that's what the case is. To be honest, yeah, that's the case. You're gonna see right now. If so, if so, this guy is an absolute Bro. mad lad considering he's in a final week and he could be in a position to be sent to the losers bracket. I mean, anything happens. Anything can happen in these tournaments. So purposely going down 2-0, not the greatest strategy if you ask me, but if there's anybody capable of, you know, capable of comeback, it's definitely get wrecked. Let's see what happens. Okay, he's gonna go for the tornado, stopping him right in his tracks, man. It looks like get wrecked is just stuck in this corner here. He looks for a neutral duck punish, but instead he's gonna get a fucking tornado. This guy's throwing every single uh, hurricane at him. Oh God, sit down. Even Humpty Dumpty had to take a look at that. He said, Hey, 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 Uncle Quee, take it easy. Okay, get wrecked with a random flying kick. This guy's nuts. Plus frames. Oh no. He said, Plus frames is playing? Short hop, and that's gonna put El Kukui on the match point here. One round away from going to the grand finals. You know that that TikTok, the one that goes, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. That's exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. what's going on here. Oh, punishing him! Fucking bicycle kicks right to the right side of the screen. More bicycle kicks. Oh, he's getting that KB loaded up, bro. bro. He's getting that KB loaded up. We needed another amplification. He's another like, one. one right now. Oh my puta. Another one. Punish. That's two amplifications now. No, 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 that's three. three. That's three. That was three. No, 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 no. Is it? No, no, no. That was three. Are you sure? Yeah, he's got it. Because you know he did one bicycle kick no, non-amplified. he's got it. You know he did. You know he did one bicycle kick non-amplified, right? He's got it. You know he did the, the bicycle kick non-amplified. Watch this next confirm he gets. He's gonna go right into the crushing blow bicycle kick. No, 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 no. Never mind. Wait, he might chain him. Oh no, he can't. Now what am I talking about? I thought he could do a bicycle kick after that, but then when I saw how far Beautiful. it was, see, I okay, told you. See, you're lying. You lying. I son fucking of a told you. I'm calling Mr. Aquaman. Get him on the comms. I don't want to. I don't want to commentate with you anymore. Hey, Mr. Aquaman. Yeah. Yeah, he's fired. You're in. Oh my Arm God! The command down. grab. Wait a second. Another tornado! He's gotta be careful with the jump and then the down one and... pop in the kneecap oh, in half. Oh, oh. Why would he and do this? No, 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 no. Why, why would he even show any signs of like, why would he do that? He's Wait, down two swear, to one. What? what if, what if you're right? Come back what king? Right. No, no, no. What if your your game theory is correct? Yeah, come back king. The fucking reverse 3 0 come and, back king. This guy, he loses purposely just so he can do the performance of a lifetime. Oh man, because after that walk down, I don't know, you show that level of confidence after a very convincing two games from El Kukui, and you better make sure you back that up. 
with the completion. Hundred percent. Yo, otherwise you're going to that losers finals while El Kukui sits comfortably in the grand finals on the winner's side. Let's go, the run back. And listen, I don't know if you saw, but when El Kukui won, he posted a picture of his of his uh, pet oh. rat. Of his, oh yeah, that's right. Of his that's pet right. mouse. Yeah, I did see that. It was very that. cute. I gotta say, El Kukui, if you watch this back, man, that mouse or, or rat was very cute. You should just have that thing play in the controller. You should just take a vacation. Let the, the, the mouse play. Wait! Oh my god! I think Owen is the fucking rat! Oh. I think Owen is the fucking rat! Rat! I think Owen is the fucking rat, bro! Yo, call me Inspector Gadget, because I just fucking... I cracked the code. I just cracked the fucking code, bro. It all makes sense now. Owen is the rat. It's the hamster. It's the mighty unjust as the hamster. You, you get it together. It's a squid? Oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi to Owen the squid. <laughs> Yo, look at this convincing. Oh, okay, let me not get too carried away. It's not convincing it's just yet. No, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. I'm getting a little carried away. Territory for both these competitors. Right I now. know, and we know Luke Kang's fatal blow comes out oh in a blink God. of an eye. Oh, that could have been it. Looking, going for the anti air rock there. That could have been dangerous. Bro, that's Back balls of steel. Oh my God, the mirror burn stops him. And that's going to be. No, he pushed a button. He pushed a button. Destroyer and got Amplified fireball. Get wrecked now in a position one round away from sending us to a game Ooh, five. Win price of a lifetime. That was fucking sick as hell, Kabusi. He's gonna get this combo conversion here. El Kukui is kind of in trouble, I gotta admit. He's going with these tornadoes. Get wrecked, you know? And, and the, the closer you get to the final round with Liu Kang, you just gotta realize at that point that he's gonna have a million crushing blows leading up to that last match. Nice crushing blow. Oh, the rock shit. Water, absorbing the projectile. Good blocks. He's gonna get the flawless block to avoid some chip damage. Oh man, he's giving him the tornado delight. Tornado blow. What is Get Right? Oh, oh, it's, it's, it's over. That's it's it. over. We're going to a game five. We are going to a game five, Destroyer. I, I don't even know what to say anymore. El Kukui. El Kukui. So, uh, you think Get Wrecked is gonna pull this off? I know I'm jumping the gun speaking about this a little too yeah, early, but bro, if he does it, y'all better be calling me fucking Santa Maria after this shit. Cause goddamn, I'm on some Oracle shit, bro. Santa Maria. Mm -hmm. Why do we gotta call you Santa Maria? I don't know, something that sounds like a fucking future seer. I don't know. Call me fucking Mama Juana, how about that? Okay, yeah, we can do that. This is it, man. Final game between Get Wrecked and El Kukui. I'm liking this. El Kukui, he's realizing things are getting a little too carried away, so he's going to sit in the character select screen for just a brief second, and he's going to think about it. Is Owen the right pick? Or does he have to put Owen away for now? I don't know. El Kukui is thinking, though. He is thinking. Sticks with the Cetrion. This is it. Game five, ladies and gentlemen. Between El Kakui and Get Wrecked, who has so far run it back after being down 2 0. One game away from a reverse 3 0 being complete to send himself into the grand finals on the winner's side. Let's get some hype in the chat. Let's get this Santa shit started. Maria. No, it's Mama Juana. Oh, God block. Santa Maria, Mama Juana. <laughs> Yo, hearing Caboose say these words, bro, I'm... 
This, this is incredible, man. This is the evolution of the champion of the realms. You're going to be talking full blown Spanish in season three. Oh, what I said? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to toss it flawless block. Get right, trying to pin him down here. Oh, did El Kukui switch to a teleport variation? Or am I tripping? It's, it's say hi to Owen. I think it's same variation. Wow, but I, we, damn, I'm not paying attention to the set. I rarely remember seeing any uh, teleports from him. He probably rarely does it. Oh my God, what a trade. Nice flawless blocking there from Get Rex. That is gonna be so key, it has been so key in this set. Minimizing the chip damage. Life is just about even. No a fucking rock way. Blow on a button press and Get Rex. Now going to be on match point. Get Rex is honestly one round away from fulfilling a prophecy, bro. One round away. El Kukui is freaking out right now. I'd, I'd be scared too if I was in his position. You know, Get Rex literally on the come up, on the reverse 3 0 prowl. One round away from taking everything away from you. This is bananas. Good block. Go for more projectiles. The meter burn projectile. All these jump ins coming from Get Rex. He just doesn't give no more fucks. He's definitely making the Shaolin proud here. Wait a second. That crushing blow has landed almost every single game we've seen in this set. We're still in this. Has a life lead right now. Blocking the straight projectile. Whoa! Oh, if the anti air rock got thrown out there, that would have been scary. It really would have been. He's gonna catch him with the EX fireballs right to the face. Oh my god, whoa, where's the punish? He didn't get the punish, that would have been a crush. Hold on, El Kukui is definitely still alive here. Bro, this is way too tense. This is way too tense. This is way too El Kukui. El Kukui! Nice low projectile, straight projectile, amplified. Another thing that we need to take note here is Get Rex does not have access to the Fatal Blow anymore. And I feel like that is a huge, huge tool for uh, Liu Kang. Oh my Back god! Tool. He needs something now. He's not going to be able to get it. The down one to interrupt the forward four string. We're going to a final round in this final game. Holy shit. He needed that punish and he needed the big crushing blow if you wanted any sort of comeback because yeah, without the fatal blow when the time is running out like that, it's next to impossible. Oh, he jumps over the rock. He's trying to gain some distance here. I mean, close some distance. Get right really wants to get in them guts here. He's going to get a triple fireball right to the face. Empty jump in. El Kukui just playing the lame game and I do not blame him for it, man, because the stakes are high. Oh, shit. Does he have it loaded? No, I don't believe so. I don't remember seeing two other amplifications. Good block. El Kukui, like I said, he's really keeping his options safe here. Going for the cancels and just everything. Not overextending his, his options. Good tornado. Oh my god, get right slowly chipping away at this life bar here. Nice, Dude. low projectile connects again. Oh, that's it. And the forward, no. that, that's not it, not yet, not yet, not yet. Oh! oh Oh, the throw! The reverse 3-0 is complete, and Get Wrecked is going to the grand finals on the winner's side. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Real. I'm speechless, bro. I'm speechless. This man is discoing to the MK Special Forces Sin Kiang Outworld music. The what? That's <laughs> the name of this song. Oh, Remember, Sp right Spanky Doodle passed out, so I'm in control of everything now. Shit. Okay. Damn, dude. How you doing? How you doing over there in the DJ booth? Oh, it's pretty easy. He has a bunch of track lists, just all preset. So it's just a click of a button here and there, a click of a shit with a typo here and there. Well, very good game, um, dude. He he did it. He did it. Caboose. He got into that winner side grand finals with a reverse 3-0 while he was yeah. down his back was against the the wall like yeah. what and he the stuck fuck? to Liu Kang the whole way through that was just full-on adaptation 
figuring out the matchup. It wasn't anything to do with the counter pick. It had nothing to do with him wanting to switch characters to somebody else. No, no, no. He just stuck with the Liu Kang the whole way through and was able to get that reverse 3-0 with that Liu Kang. So big ups to get wrecked for pulling off what seemingly was impossible against El Kukui's dominating Cetrion. And now as we head into the loser semifinals, it'll be Hayate facing off against Honeybee. Ooh. And the winner of that will face off against El Kukui in the loser's finals. But, uh, but hey, before we get to that, we should take a bit of a breather. We should take a second. I agree. That was too much for me, man. It was a we, lot. We, 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 lot. we need to go just really recuperate and get ready for these yeah. next matches to come. Because, bro, when we get back from this break, we're about three matches away to determine the final qualifier yeah. for the top eight finale that's going down next Friday, February 19th. On the official CGL's Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash CGL1. CGL in the chat. Make sure you guys are following them on Twitch and you guys are ready for this tournament. The finale will be taking place on February 19th on CGL's Twitch channel. But hey, we're going to take a quick break. This will be one more break before we run the last matches of the night. And we'll be right back with Champions of the Realms 2. Weekend. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Champions of the Realm Season 2 Final Qualifier is going down right now. We got about three more matches underway here. Uh, let me pull up the bracket. Okay. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Duty Deluxe. DJ. All right. Hopefully, we're going to get him in just yeah, a he's moment. Here. He's here. He's here. He's here. Okay. I didn't know this. This is it. We got Hayate versus Honeybee. Loser semifinals. Winner of this is going to move on to the losers final where they're going to be going up against El Kukui. I still can't believe Garrek pulled off that freaking incredible comeback that he did there, man. That shit, that was just wild stuff we witnessed. This, uh, my computer is just being weird today. Hold on. You're off camp, so if you want to, you know, fuck around with stuff, go for it. And turn up your cam too, please. Thank you. I love you. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. All right. Team one. Between Honeybee and Hayate. We're done. Hayate going to get a couple of hits in there on block currently with the life lead. Gets the air to air into the wind kicks. Maybe look for a breakaway. The break armor. Nicely done. Another couple of wind kicks. Wind kicks there. A down two. <laughs> you turned into Mike Tyson. I heard that. What? Wind kick. Another couple of wind kicks there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this man turned into Mike. That's it. He's Mike Tyson. Uh, that's me. Nice. That's going to be a punish coming in from Hayate. Closing out that round once again. Beautiful stuff with those wind kicks. El Kukui. Wait, I'm honestly, hold on. I'm over for for literally for a split second. I thought this was El Kukui, but it's not. <laughs> what? I don't know. Oh, we, we, we were saying we were saying it in the beginning, and then I look at the name. And I said, "No, this is Hayate." He's, uh, he came back with a burning hatred. Oh, good wake up. He's gonna go with the down two. Hayate right now with the crazy Skywalker cancels. What a, what a contrast is between these players, right? We got someone like Hayate, who this is the first time I believe we're seeing him in the top eight for Champions of the Realm Season 2. And then we got someone like Honeybee, who's been in all but two top eight for Champions of the Realm Season 2. And he's going to get that round and tie things up with a beautiful combo in the corner. Nicely done from Honeybee. Damn, immediately running out of that corner position. He was not having it. Good throw. I'm gonna toss him to the left side of the screen. Oh my god. Awesome, the interactable, the starfish, Patrick Star. Is there a SpongeBob? I did. SpongeBob's in here? You got a problem with that? No. What's your problem? Oh, hold on. Off a positive rush like a maniac. I kind of feel like if uh, Hayate came into this matchup with Ward Needle, it would have been a back and forth. That. 
He's gonna set up the bug on the ground. Oh my god, he opens him up. Hayate's in big trouble here. He has literally 5% life to deal with. No shit, honeybee, you right. maniac. Gonna right. wrap him up. Taking the game with that incredible stuff. And again, remember, dude, this is to get into the loser's final to go up against El Kukui. El Kukui. You are correct about that one. And if he takes game one. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can fix what the hell is going on with my friggin' 4K capture. What's happening? It's just the software wasn't opening. I'm having a, I'm having a bit of a, a bit of a time here. Devorah. If you want, I can come over and drop kick your whole setup. Yeah, actually, if you don't mind. All right, I'm gonna head over right now. I just need you to scream El Kukui when you do it, like, you know. I got you. I'll come with a sledgehammer too. Is that you want me to break your fridge? I bet. Oh, okay. Uh, you good? Round one. Hand it over right now. Oh, he's gonna pick him up. Good combo extension right there coming from Hayate here. He's gonna have to get very aggressive against a character like Honeybee. I Honeybee, uh, Devora. I just <laughs> called Honeybee a bug. Honeybee's a character in Mortal Kombat. Honeybee's now. a bug. I just called him a bug. Oh, good throw counter. No, and the reason why I say that, like, I, I kind of feel like the whole cast has to be on top of Devora. Because if you think about it, bro, if you let her get comfortable and start setting up all these bug traps and shit, you're going to be having a hard time. Yeah, once the character starts to get the pressure going, it's pretty tough to beat. And especially in the hands of Honeybee, who has been rocking this character since like day zero, not even day one. Honeybee, I remember meeting Honeybee at the, uh, not for the first time, but seeing Honeybee at the Mortal Kombat 11 launch event in Toronto. And he was rocking Devora and knew his stuff with that character before the day one patch even dropped for this. So, you know, he's been playing, he's been playing Devora longer than most people have been playing Mortal Kombat 11, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that. He goes for the double poke to shut down that yeah. bug trap in the corner there. He's gonna get some breathing room here. Let's see what Hayate follows up with. Oh my God. The punish, missed the opportunity. That was so close. Damn, crushing blow out of nowhere. Blowing the, the wind out of Devora. She said, ow, that hurt my oh. Oh, oh no, if Honeybee just held block there, he probably could have survived the end of that string and maybe found something to take that game. But instead, Hayate connects the end of the string on wake up and is going to tie this set up one to one. So I got to ask you, man, we're down yeah. to the top four players of the final qualifier here. We have Get Rex sitting in grand finals. We have Hayate fighting against Honeybee right now and El Kukui sitting in loser's final. Out of these four players, who do you see going above and beyond and taking this championship home? I, I, again, it, that is impossible, I think, for me to answer because on one hand, we had such a tight set between El Kukui and Get Wrecked. And yeah, granted, Get Wrecked takes it, goes into grand finals, but it was close. It was very close. It could have been anybody's game there. All right, all right. Then, again, we are already tied in this set seemingly going to have quite the back and forth between Honeybee and Hayate. So who knows who's going to move on from here? Then I don't know how that set's going to go down between whoever wins here against El Kukui. And then they got to make it into grand finals, face off against Get Wrecked on the winner's side. This is anybody's tournament to win. This is anybody's final qualifier to take. And I have no idea who's taking it. I cannot make that guess, nor do I want to curse the person if I make a guess. 100%. So I guess let, me ask, let me ask you. Who you think? I'm gonna have to just uh, steal everything you said right there and just put that on the table. But beautiful capture from Honeybee here. He's gonna set up the bugs, a lot of combo potential, clean jump ins and everything. Oh my god, the interactable tick throw. What a monster. He hit him with that shit out of nowhere. Yeah, say right there utilizing the space utilizing the interactable something like that one interactable we just saw can act almost as a command grab for any character on the roster beautiful stuff Ooh. from honeybee maintaining the corner pressure gonna get another combo going here and ayate doesn't have the defensive meter to break away he's just gonna the have bug. 
Yeah, this isn't the place Hayate wants to be in. He tried to dash up out of there, but whoa! A down to crush into the armor breaker! That was sick. That was and beautiful. He got the armor breaker off of that. Beautiful stuff. 37%. This man hit him with the, the explosions right there. Yo, but Honeybee, man, just as aggressive. Let's see what he's got here. Gonna go for the full combo extension. Good breakaway from Hayate. It's kind of weird that uh, Honeybee didn't go for a bug setup, knowing that he had that breakaway activated. What a fatal blow. He cashes out. He needs as much damage as he can take right now in order to catch up on the life lead that Honeybee had and set himself up for like one little hit to close out the round. For one shimmer and Pipo. Oh my God. Hayate, is he gonna chip him out? He catches the fucking oh, round. God. That was incredible, Hayate, Shit. tying things up. Yo. I, I'm sensing another game five. Yo, Destroyer. Mary Luna just violated the Bora. Nah, Mary Luna's spitting the facts is what she's doing. Ooh. Good jump in. You're gonna tag him. Nice. Honeybee is in this corner right now, just holding all this wind pressure here. It's gonna down one into Abba Positor Rush. Honeybee, or sorry, Hayate really spent the farm there for 20%. He really did. And he's just still going at it, man. He got fucking Shinnok in the background, just losing his mind watching this match. What are we gonna get the Shinnok pug? <laughs> he's screaming. I'm surprised nobody has, has gotten that yet, man. That's a good idea. Might be a little orange because the lighting there, but uh, with a little Photoshop, I'm sure you can make it work. Good overhead. Honeybee right now. Gonna get down to it again if he had crushing blow in that situation. That could have been devastating. Honeybee has the fatal blow. That is the one thing right now that he has over Hayate. That could have been a punish. He missed the opportunity because that forward three string sends Hayate far enough. Gotta be so careful here. Neutral jump. Sets up the trap. And then he goes for the field. Whoa, so whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Where did that Holy come from, bro? Holy smokes. Honeybee. He tweeted this. What did he say? He's gaming. He's gaming right now. He's gaming. He tweeted that he's gaming? The divorce is disgusting. That's... That's why I, I tweeted that. So he tweeted that he's gaming and the war is disgusting. I think you're lying. Why would why would he say that? I tweeted that. Why would he call his his character I, disgusting? I, I tweeted. That. I'll tell I you tweeted. what. If Honeybee pulls out Nurse Devora, then <laughs> he's gonna get a little hot in here. Okay, I'm gonna shut down the stream. This is this is on my channel. You think I won't shut this shit down right now? You think I wouldn't do that wait, shit wait, right no, now? No, 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 Caboose, don't push that button. Caboose, don't fuck. Caboose, don't push that fucking button, bro, bro. Jesus Christ, and you, did, you, okay. did you have the karate chop me? I didn't did you know. have the karate chop me as well? What the I fuck, didn't man? Oh, that button was gonna do that, Destroyer. I didn't know. Okay, my bad. My bad. Hey, okay, Hayate's gonna open him up early on here. He needs to give it his all. I mean, this guy's got the wah. You know what I'm saying? He, <laughs> I set myself up for that one. <laughs> oh, oh my Ooh. god, he said, smell my feet. Right before he went to the ground. You think Mads Mikkelsen got the stinky feet after that one? God, that's Round two, fight. Okay, he's gonna counter hit him, stopping him with whatever he was trying to do there. Smart stuff from Hayate. Of a positive rush, man. Honeybee's been pretty tight with that move all night long today. Good overhead. Wowzers! Wowzers is right. Ooh, wow. yo, that kind of re-stood him. That re-stood him, bro. That was so dirt. Oh, couldn't get the neutral jump punish there. Might be having a very good round right now. Needs to close this out. But it went to the amplification. Match to point. Close that out with the positive rush. But regardless, match point now for Honeybee. One round away from eliminating Hayate and moving on to losers finals to face off against El Kukui. El Kukui. El Kukui. El Kukui. El Kukui. El Kukui. Oh, down to crush. Sticking the pincers right through the chin. 
Gonna go for a down oh. one poke into a throw. Hayate fighting back here. He said, you are not taking this set. That's a punish. No. Whoa. Oh, but he still gets caught. Beautiful stuff there from Honeybee. Nice. Hayate gonna get a big combo off of this. That's gonna hurt. Oh, oh no, no, I did not, I did not, I did not curse it. There it is, there it is. No, that's it, he's dead, he's dead. We're going to a final game. We're going to a final game for the fucking hundredth time today. Final game, hundredth time. I think Honeybee let go of block too early there. Yo, yo, yo. That Hayate would be above him from the wind kicks. He had defensive meter to eat shit. Bro. I want everybody right now to go and hit exclamation point uh, bracket and look at how many game fives we've had tonight. Yo, this is ridiculous. Look at how many game fives we had. We're going to be running this top eight until 2077. Bro, two out of all the matches we've had leading up to now were game fives. <laughs> two of the fucking matches out of everything was game five. I'm changing my name to game five. Your name's Game 5? Yeah. Champions of the Game 5? I mean, Final Qualifier is Champions of the Game 5, without a doubt. Final game. Let's go. Game 5. Let's go. Hayate going up against Honeybee. Okay, Honeybee's gonna open him up, wrapping him up. He's saying, get this fucking ponytail out of my face. Honeybee, relax, bro. I know it's a lot on the line here, but relax. Ooh! Nice punish. Ayate's going crazy here. Knocking him out of the air, but unfortunately, he has really bad recovery on his strings. That's one thing that plagues Fujin. Good nice throw. Bro. Too slow. Good, Good throw. throw. <laughs> the ball knew. He knew. Oh, the ball knew what I was going for. Nice, the bug hit. Maybe he needs a couple more hits right now, especially with Hayate having no defensive meter. You catch him with that little bug trap. That's a wrap. The projectiles. Watch out for that back too. So threatening. It really is. Opens him up That's with the punish. Funny. I think this might be the round, unless Honeybee fucks up somehow. No, yeah, he will not match, match point. point now for Honeybee. This is it. Hayate gotta find something. Gotta dig deep. I think another thing I'm noticing too is a lot of these game fives, they go to the fucking round as well, man. There are not a lot of game fives that we have seen where the opponent or one of the competitors just takes the two rounds. Eyes up to wake up off the flawless block, just stealing a turn from Hayate. Going for an empty jump, but Hayate not afraid to press some buttons. No, he is not. This back and forth scuffle right now between both these players is driving me in insane. I'm losing my mind watching this set. Oh, that's a punish. Honeybee not letting it go. Beautiful. Oh my god. Honeybee. Not like this, Honeybee. This is a final game. Don't take risks like that. Well, I'm not, I'm not one to talk. I'm sorry. I'm not one to talk. Nice throw. Oh, good grab tech. Hayate about a punch in the face to take in this round and tying things up here. Flawless lock there from Honeybee. That is huge. Oh, and the little smack to the face again. Final game. Bro. Final round between Hayate and Honeybee. Bro. My goodness. Fight. The win punish of a lifetime. Hayate starting this last game, this last match here big. 30%. Gonna get the jump three. Honeybee fighting back here. Gonna tag him with the low. Oh, that was the bug set up. Little conversion. That was sexy. Oh my god. Oh yeah, he's gotta hold that. He restood him. He wanted the throw. He wanted the throw. Come back to Oh my goodness, destroyer. Oh my goodness. The intensity. That's a boy. That's a big whip on it. Big whip on it. Oh shit. The down two crush. crush! And he has no breakaway! Hayate has oh, a whole no. line! I think, oh, I think no. this is death. I it think... Wait! Why? Why not just go for damage? Oh my god! I don't know god. if you would have done enough. 
Oh god. Hayate. Oh my god! The big blow still. He lands the oh throw. Oh my god, bro. He lands the this throw. Hold on. He hits him with the wind push. Wind push. He catches it. Come back! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't take this. Oh! And the throw! Hayate! Oh dude! Holy shit! Hayate's gonna take the set three to two! Getting into the loser's final! Oh my god! Yo. I'm stunned. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to think. I have no word. I have no word. Oh man, I have no words besides the fact that I do feel bad. Honeybee has fought, he has done so much in Champions of the Realms, qualified just about every single week, or not qualified, but made into top eight just about every single week, battled it out with that Devora, and it came down to the wire against Hayate. He just wasn't able to close it out, unfortunately, but you got to give it up to Honeybee, who played his damn heart out. Did such a good job throughout the entirety of season two for Champions of the Realms. He is uh, he is a force still and always to be reckoned with. But now Hayate moves on to the losers finals to face off. Oh man, the legendary El Kukui. El Kukui. This El is Kukui. it, dude. This is it. We're down to the top three for tonight. You know, all these competitors have gotten in the money. There was $175 provided for Console Gaming League for each week that we ran these uh, tournament qualifiers, which is fucking god tier. And then for the finale, we got a ridiculous $3,700 in the finale pot bonus. Uh, if anybody wants to contribute to that, you can do so by hitting exclamation point Matcherino in the but chat. There's just no way to be prepared for anything during this week because of the amount of game fives, the drama, the intensity, and El Kukui. Whoa, Wait. hovering over Shiva? This dude, yo, the variation's called Brain Off. <laughs> dude. This is great. I, I actually, is he actually going for this pick? He might this know something uh, against Fujin that, you know, we might not know. Because remember, we saw Titanium straying away from this matchup, and now we see El Kukui enforcing it. That's weird. I don't know what's about to happen here, Destroyer. Me neither, man. Me neither. I'm, I'm kind of nervous here. This is it. Losers finals, ladies and gentlemen. If El Kukui wins this, he gets the run back against Get Wrecked. If Hayate wins this, his first time in the top eight for season two of Champions of the Realms. He makes it to grand finals and he will be on the loser side where Get Wrecked waits comfortably on the winner's side of grand finals. Game one underway. Let's get some non-stop hype in the chat. I want to see some non-stop hype and some non-stop Owens. Oh shit, he's got, he's got the uh, dragon stance right now. I don't know how well that's going to fare against Hayate's Fujin with the wind push and everything, but we're just going to have to wait and see, I guess. Oh, nicely done with the wind kick there. Got to wake up, grab and rush for a little makeup, gets caught at the end of that string. There's the dragon stand. Oh, the stun coming out of nowhere from the top ropes. Shiva, such a monster. Nice throw. Too, too slow. Good throw. <laughs> that's, that's bars right there, bro. That's going to be the new Cabal mix safe. Yeah. Oh, stopping him right in his tracks. Try to catch him and get him on the get-up roll. Oh. Holy shit. What a wake-up roll into a fatal blow combo conversion. Wow. Is, was, I think that's going to kill. Yep. Definitely, that is definitely going to kill a beautiful wake-up roll, just like you mentioned, to whiff punish that wind push attempt from Hayate. And the first round going to El Kukui, El Kukui, El Kukui, El Kukui, El Kukui. El Kukui. Oh, canceling right into the stomp. Dude, I played... Oh my god, that crush. I was not ready for that. I played a little bit of Shiva, right? And canceling oh. canceling strings into stomp is not as easy as, as it seems. Either I'm fucking... Something's wrong with me, but I just can't do the inputs. Right now, whatever this pick is from El Kukui that I'm sure we all didn't expect has clearly worked wonders as he <laughs> takes game one. He saw the little walk he did. He had the little, little, little wave dash. He did the little spider, the crab legs. The little, uh, the little cocky butt. 
Yeah, Shiva's definitely got cocky butt right now as she tosses the shield right towards the commentator. She said, don't call me cocky butt. Okay. Okay. You good? Shiva's pissed, bro. Don't call her cocky butt or she's going to fuck us up. You call me cocky butt? Yeah. You got a problem? Yeah. You got, got a problem? You got a problem with that? Oh shit. Fucking problem. Dude. He's got a big cocky butt, he said. Everybody fall back. Oh, Everybody buddy. back up. Let's see what happens here. Elko Kui right now. Just really showing a lot of dominance coming out of this Shiva here. I wonder how Hayate is going to adapt to this situation. And one thing you got to notice, man, Elko Kui. He was so comfortable whipping out that dragon stance and just throwing those fireballs all over the place. And it kind of just looked like Hayate had to sit there and wait for his turn. Ew. Ew. Round Ew. <laughs> Yo, this man, Kotokan. Kotokan's in. He's evolving. He's evolving. Please don't impress me. Holy shit, I never heard a, a style like that before. Nice jump in there from Hayate, gonna get a good combo off of this. Close to 30%. The interactable. Look at that, man, pulling out that dragon stance. Like I said before, you would think that wind push would just stop him as soon as he pulls it out, but dragon stance with the fucking two frame nerf, supposedly. Shit didn't do nothing to that move. That move is still crazy. Oh, what a confirm. Into the armor breaker. This is huge damage. No, he didn't go for it. Is there a crush on that? Yes, there is. And he did not go for it. That's the crush that like blows your fucking chest in. Right. Good blocks. Okakui does have access to fatal blow here. And one touch is going to secure the round for him. This is very dangerous for Hayate. Oh, GG's. He got that. Hayate is fearless, but of course, kind of had every right to be, considering there was no defensive beater for El Kukui. Just had to apply the pressure. Do not give him an opportunity to even utilize that fatal blow. Good round win there for Hayate. He's going to continue the pressure. Just wait full screen. Try to toss an interactable. Gets the punish off the attempted stomp from El Kukui. And we'll have the corner at the end of this combo. 30% on that one. Very good stuff. Tries to go for the cancel, but look at that pickup. El Kukui just gonna put it right back in Hell's grasp. And the damage over time here. Hayate will be bleeding. Gotta be careful on jump-ins and moving a lot. My God, that is just one of the most stylish things ever. Just it really is. is. That set up the Amplified Skywalker. Just doing the Skywalker cancel immediately. Oh shit. Ridiculous. Oh, maybe could have gotten the dive kick crush there if he went for it. Possibly, because he was in the middle of canceling that uh, dragon stance. Oh my god, EX flame ball right into that overhead. That is just sickening. Nice late amplification on the Skywalker as they get that punish. Oh! Ooh. And that's crush. Not gonna be the game though. Magic pixel and the wind kicks. That was good awareness there. Good match awareness from Hayate, recognizing that Elkakui didn't have any defensive meter. He was completely within the opportunity to go for those win kicks and get that guaranteed chip. Beautiful. Hayate tying it up. Yeah, he just went for that, man. He said, fuck it, everything. I'm going to go for these win kicks right here, right now. Get the chip out and tie things up here one to one. Elkakui, is he going to stick with the Shiva? I mean, this brain off variation of his... It seems very promising. He's doing a lot of damage with this variation right now. Will so, he with the Elkakui? Huh? Will he stick with the Elkakui? <laughs> Elkakui? Okay. He's gonna become another name. We're gonna. I'm telling you, we're gonna have to get a King of the Hill first to five between Elkakui, Evolvo, and Leyenda Carnage. Shit, the way Okakui's been playing, bro. <laughs> he might be leading the charge here. I guess we shall see if we can put that together. But all right, game three about to be underway. This set is tied. It feels like it's going to go to another game five. It feels like we're going to be here for uh, for 50 years. <laughs> we're going to be commentating this. We're going to be like that. The crushing ball. 
<laughs> and then it turns out we're the only ones that age. Everybody else is still the same age. Combo there and the amplification. The max out on the damage. Yeah, and right back to the dragon stance. Hayate gonna kind of push him out of that, that position there. Tries to tag him with the low attack. What is going on here? Dude, it, it, it is really astonishing the way Fujin is able to just walk up in your face, go full screen, all within the span of like two seconds. Oh my God, this pressure right now. Yep, there's that dragon stance. Oh, the wind punish! Wait! Oh, no. He had a fatal blow confirmed. What happened? I'm not sure what happened there, but he could have gotten a huge combo into fatal blow. He tried to wave the dash. Air. Oh, it would have knocked him out of the air? No, well, maybe if he wasn't fatal blow, I think it would have. No? Hold on, hold on. He still has a chance here. Knocking him out of the air! Hayate, no you instant. fucking maniac! Hayate, what a comeback on the magic pixel there. Knew exactly what to do. Made the read on the breakaway. Used that armor breaker. Oh, beautiful punish there with the Amplified Skywalker. But he's not going to be able to fully convert. Very nice. He's going to go with the push. Oh, this is going to be a... Oh, oh that was that so was godlike. That was sick. god mode, bro. Where the hell did Hayate even think of that? That was like out of nowhere. I think he's starting to ascend. Destroyer. He really is. He really is. I'd be very scared. Hayate is beginning to ascend. And that's crushing blow. Hayate is beginning to ascend. Ladies and gentlemen, before our very wow. eyes. Idiot. Brutality. He is beginning to ascend. Splitting Shiva in half. That is just insanity right now. Hayate is going to be moving up two to one. One game away from putting himself into the grand finals. Lower side. Listen, I'm gonna have to honor Hayate's choice. Um, after this, Caboose, can you contact him and find out if he wants a small break or if he wants to go right into the next match? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll put him up right away. Okay. If he wins, if he wins, I'm not jumping the gun. If he wins, I apologize. If he wins. Fujin. If he wins. Okay, El Kukui right now, he's really thinking about it. Is Owen going to be the saving grace for this set for Kukui here? Sub -Zero. Oh, the message ready to send just in case. I don't want to uh, do any cursing here on any side, but wait a second. Hold up. Is this happening? I don't know, man. He's really thinking about it here. He's got to choose this next pick very wisely because this is the last opportunity he gets here to get into this grand finals oh boy did he do it is he going sub oh boy he is going with the night king he is going with the night king destroyer let's see if the robbery is going to be able to to happen here we all know what Sub-Zero's freaking shenanigans are about. That's right. The name of the game of this character is 50-50's Galore. Oh, I like that switching side. So when he gets the Amplified Slide, he has the corner. Amplified Ice Ball. Tried to pull him in twice. Two. Yeah, he's got to watch out for that back too. Okay, good overhead. Nice quick punish. That was nasty, man. I kind of like this. Hayate just keeping his head in the set here. He's not going to let things get too carried away. The jump over on the wake up one, two from El Kukui. See what Hayate does here. Another cross up jumping. This man's going nuts. Nice. And he's four, two. Roll the forward two into the creeping ice, but the amplified creeping ice doesn't connect. Oh, wow. A slide. It was risky bisky, but it worked out for El Kukui. Nice forward four. Oh, nicely done. Hayate making sure he stays in the air for as long as possible to avoid that amplified ice ball. Beautiful stuff. That was nasty. He's going to get the ice ball. I think this is a robbery. It's a fatal blow, El Kukui. Wow. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is what this character does always. I can only imagine what Hayate's reaction is right now on stream. Probably hit the pause button was ready to rage quit. <laughs> 
fight. Nice, okay. I got say. Oh man. I don't know about this, man. I don't really know about this. He's really pushing forward here. What an anti here from Hayate! God, like. Yo, also a big shout out. Oh my god. 1700 people watching. Bro, right no now. way. Oh, so we're at 1700? Yeah, thank Jesus. Okay, for Champions of the Realms, too. We really hope you guys have been enjoying the action. There's been some insane. This is unreal. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. Seriously, the jump in three from El Kakui, and that is going to do a match point for Hayate. He needs one more round to get inside the Grand Finals where he's going to be facing off against Get Wreck. You know what I need going into Grand Finals? You ain't ain't tell me. Some ice need shatter. Fuel. You need some ice shatter G Fuel. MK flavors, baby. That's right. Get yourself some G Fuel. Exclamation point G Fuel in the chat. Use code Caboose or use code Combo with a K at checkout. Back two. Oh, oh. But gets thrust. One into the ice ball. I'll tell you what, There's though, Caboose. He doesn't have access to Fatal Blow, so Hayate's kind of dodging a bullet. If he wants to close this set out, I think now's the best chance. Good punish. Okakui with the immediate breakaway. This is going down to the wire. What was he going to try to do there? Oh, shit. Hayate with a clean jump in. What a pickup. Oh, you can't count out a 50-50 monster character. Oh, God. Like, That's it. Zero. That's it. You can when you get whiff punish. Send the message. And Hayate takes down El Kukui. Send the and message. And we'll be moving on to the grand finals for Champions of the Rump Season 2 Week 8. Okay, let me send Hayate a message. Let him know. Uh, we definitely got to we gotta abide by what Hayate wants to do here because that was... This would essentially be three very high-stake matches back-to-back. -back. Now, if the player needs a break, he is definitely obligated to take a break. So, we got Caboose. He's uh, sending over a message right now to see what Hayate wants to do. And then we'll be moving on from there. But, wow. Um, I don't even know what to say, bro. Hayate is literally playing like fucking God. If you look back at the pool play, you will not believe it when I tell you Hayate got knocked out in winners round one. Hayate got sent to the losers in winners round one. And this man made it from losers. What was that? You from the pools, you're talking. From pools, yes, from pool plays. He got knocked down to losers in winners round one. And this man made his way all the way back to the fucking top, Caboose. And now we're going to see Hayate in the grand finals, lower bracket, going up against Get Wrecked. This is it, man. Are you ready? Okay, he said, apparently people are telling me that he does want to break. I messaged him, haven't gotten a response. No, 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 100%. But I'm assuming, 100%. But I'm assuming people are watching his stream and did mention... Or he and he did mention that he wants a break. Still, there has been a couple of weeks now where we have seen people qualify for Champions of the Realm Season 2 on the loser side. Yes, we've seen it plenty of times before. Me and Caboose were actually in disbelief. Once it happened for a third time in a row, we were like, what the fuck? We said, this is yeah. this is a possibility, bro. Yeah, this seriously. is like no fucking joke here. And going, going into the on? final qualifier, we may see the same thing in Hayate. This man's fucking heel. He's heated. Caboose. He's heated up. He's heated up. For him 100%. to call out, for him to call out no break. Yo. Oh, yeah. He wants to play. Honestly, and sometimes, in my opinion, especially the way we've seen Hayate playing over these last three matches, I would almost prefer that. Like, if I was in his position, you're riding a bit of a wave right now. You, you're you on this, like, hot streak. Keep it up. Don't give yourself a second to take a break and potentially lose that momentum. But all right, game one underway in grand finals for week eight of Champions of the Realm season two. Only one of these two competitors can qualify for the finale that has a near $4,000 prize pool. Who is it going to be? Make sure you place your predictions. You got a couple more seconds left to do so. Get your channel points in there. Will it be Hayate or will it be Get Rex who is rocking that blue tank? And as I always, want to see some nonstop. Yeah, I was going to say, as always, we asked for one thing for these final moments. Last match of the stream. We want to see the chat exploding with hype. Very good stuff. Get Rex going to hit the fly kick. He's going for the staggers here. Trying to look for something special, but Hayate just kind of just throwing little blows here and there, trying to open him up. I respect it. Bro, they're kind of just staring each other down here, testing each other's movements. 
This could be a long set or this could be a short set, depending on how Get Wrecked handles this. Ooh. Nice, low projectile there from Get Wrecked. Currently has a healthy life lead. Hayate's got a lot of ground to make up. He wants to take this round and not a lot of time to do so. 15 seconds left on the clock. Lands the throw. A forward three into Fatal. We'll do it. He had the opportunity. He's going to get punished. That's the first round going to get wrecked. Unbelievable stuff. Tries to catch him with the wind pool. But I'm telling you, man, being in a finals winner's winner position such as get wrecked, a player in his caliber, somebody who's known for making the reverse 3-0s, imagine trying to, you know, do that on him. Oh, absolutely. He's not going to let that be an easy task. Walk on the low projectile there from Hayate. You got to avoid as much chip damage as possible. Try to get a jump in, whips it. Jump oh. for that one string. Back to Skywalker, cancel. Whoa, nice. he's gonna open him up out of nowhere. Hold on, a lot of damage coming from Hayate. A near 30% combo. With a simple conversion, that was sick as fuck. Good pressure coming out of Get Wrecked. Let's see what he's got here. He's gonna go for the one, two stagger, straight Good into throw. a throw. Good throw, too slow. Two, 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 two. The ball has powered down. He has been a cyborg this whole time. That's a sick friggin' conversion. Hold on, oh hold God. on, hold on. Is he gonna do this? Hayate! Projectiles. Oh no, you gotta be so careful. This Bro. is a very dangerous position to be in if you're Hayate. Listen, I think this next touch he's gonna have to go. Nice. Oh no. Good back two into the wind push. He doesn't have defensive bar either. If he gets launched Sweet. in the air, this could be a GG's. 10 seconds left. Oh, that's the life lead for Get Wrecked. Now Hayate on his back. He's got to figure something Whoa. out. Goes for the Amplified. Oh no, God. the short off doesn't connect. And, and the timer. time runs out. Get Wrecked takes game one. The fucking timer, bro. Unbelievable. This is unreal. This is unreal. When you have games ending like that and it's only the first game, you know you're in for a hype grand finals, man. Dude, I don't know, man. Get right going up game number one. That's the last thing PG Hayate is going to have on his agenda here coming into this grand final set on the lower side. He... Also, what? Holy shit. I can't believe he blocked that freaking short up. This Yo. guy get right game to play. He seriously, he, 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 this guy's got WandaVision. <laughs> he's got WandaVision on the background on Disney Plus. No, he's got, he's got WandaVision in his head. Oh, he's watching. Oh, okay. His vision is Wanda's vision. Wanda's vision. Let's see what happens here. Get right, going up, game number one, Hayate. He's got a, a huge mountain to climb here. A Mount Everest, if you say so. Wowzers. Wowzers is correct. Okay. Oh. Like, wow, too slow. Wow. There's a jump flawless block. It's going to be a double M. They don't know he didn't have the second bar. A meter was just barely about to get it. Tony, bro, it's just WandaVision. He doesn't see anything but fucking Wanda's all over the place. Wanda. <laughs> Good throw. He's going to go with the Skywalker. Tries to catch him with the fly kick. Or I don't think he... I think he just did the fly kick to close that distance, close that gap. Get right really on the approach here. Going through the Skywalker, get across the other side of the screen. And now Hayate doesn't have the life lead though, and that, that clock is ticking. It this really is. is. A lot of oh. that is a big crush. Hayate now with the life lead. Now he can play a little more comfortably. He can play this Ooh, game. He shut it down! No, God, bro. No, that was seriously the ultimate read. If Hayate would have win with anything else, I think that fatal blow would have got him. But he You're shut it down with the that. armor breaker, the fucking kicks. Hayate, you madman who laughs. Get the book, exclamation point, madman who laughs. Madman in chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check out that book. Check out that book. Shout out to the madman. Good tech on the throw there from Hayate. Introduce the projectiles. The dash is up. Back to into the wind push. Oh man, these these dash ups are coming in hot. He's gonna get a nasty counter here. 
Dragging him all the way to the left side. Two amplifications on the bicycle kick. One more, and the crushing blow is set up. All right, that's some good acknowledgement there. Beautiful nice. pickup. Bayate making sure he doesn't break away here. Well, he didn't even have breakaway to begin with, but he's loving these kicks. Oh my God, the call out on it. He went with wind kicks. He went with fly kick. Kicks everywhere. Oh God, you got to be so nervous if you get wrecked here. A little forward three, anything into fatal blow and it's over. And especially with no defensive meter, you got to be so careful. Any hit ends this set or ends this game, I should say, for Hayate. Nine seconds. seconds. Oh, he gets a throw. He gets a throw. Oh my God! Five seconds. He opens him up. Oh my God! Oh, oh my God! One second left. One second left. That's not the game. That's not the game, though. That's not the game, right? Oh God! I thought that was it. I thought Garrick was going up 2-0. Oh, Hayate still has a chance to stay alive. When huh? Hayate landed the Amplified Skywalker, did he have, did he have defensive meter to cancel Bro, in the Bro, I don't know. My, my, my brain just went into a scramble when all that shit went down. I don't know. I don't know. Bicycle kick destroyer. One more bicycle kick, and it's a crushing blow for Get Wrecked. That is dangerous. Oh, the fireball came out just in time to stop the pool. Break away. Oh, that's crush. That's crush. Wow. 35% for Get Wrecked. He's Jesus. running away with this now. He's running away with this now, Destroyer. Hayata's got to find something, and he's not going to be able to. Get Wrecked is oh, up 2 0. Man. It's dangerous. 2 0, and I mean, I'm not going to say it's impossible because it's definitely possible, but holy shit, Get Wrecked is going to go up 2 0. What a three game cushion. He's still in winner's side, people. Oh, He's man, still I, in winner's side. I, I want to go this back and watch the This is going to be tough for Hayate. I keep almost calling him Honeybee. Um, I, I want to go back and watch the tapes because Hayate, you got the Amplified Skywalker. Oh, my God. Asteroids with 20 gifted subs. Jesus, again to the Asteroids. Thank you, Thank you so much. Big shout out in the chat for Asteroids. Thank you so much for the gifted subs. You absolute mad lad. Holy Huge shit. shout out to Asteroids, man. Wow. Hey, very, very much for all the gifted subs. Welcome, everybody. If you were just gifted a sub, make sure you thank Asteroid for all those gifted subs. 20 today and 20 yesterday. Damn. My goodness. My goodness. But to finish my thought there, I want to go back and watch the tapes because Hayate got that amplified Skywalker in the corner. If he had the defensive meter, you just cancel and get your fatal blow, close out the game. I wonder what happened there. I guess well, we'll have to see. But let's see way, what goes down, man. Final game. Potential final match for Get Wrecked. He's going with the bicycle kicks. Immediately going to put Hayate in the corner position. Dude, Hayate needs to channel his inner god right now. Okay, and now Tiger Crotch gifted five subs as well. You Holy guys are going shit. nuts right on the tail end of the stream. Thank you. Final match of the night. These people are losing their minds. Also, if you want to contribute to the, uh, to the prize pool for the competitors, don't forget, you can do so by hitting, e yes, exclamation point, Matcherino. You got to make an account on Matcherino real quick, and then you can donate with PayPal or, or your card, whatever you want. Totally optional, and we'd really appreciate it. It's for the competitors, for the hype. Almost has $4,000 on this prize pool, so you know people want in. Oh, beautiful punish after neutral ducking the dragon kick. Hayate, you know he's not going to let this be a quick and easy 3-0 for, for Get Rex. He's not hurt. Get Wreck wants this win. If Get Wreck wants the final qualifying spot, he's gonna oh, hurt him. Oh my god! He's gonna put on the fatal blow. Beautiful. Hayate. He's gonna take it. Hayate with a back one catches those few frames before you get armor on fatal blow to interrupt. Steals that round that way. He just needs one more round to put a game on the board. This could be the beginning. This could be the beginning's destroyer. Oh man, I can definitely foresee this man making a massive comeback here. Let's see what happens though. He's got to get, get wrecked, pinned down in this corner, up one round. He can do this, but yo, Kabul, he's got to do it very methodical. He's got to take it slow and just pace himself with these matches. Again, six games. From this point on, he needs to take six games off of Get Wrecked. You can see as well that he is playing methodically. After he lands a little combo in the corner, backdashes the hell out of dodge immediately. Good pressure. Good block. Nice. He's going to get an immediate punish there. Making Garrett second guess everything with those fly kicks. 
you can see as well, every chance Hayate has had, he has got in there. Punish again off of that dragon kick. That's going to do a ton of damage. Hayate trying to run That's away it. with it and will do so. He's got a game on the board. This is all it takes, Destroyer. This is all it takes. You get a game, you get a little bit of that momentum, and next thing you know, you've reset the bracket. Can Hayate do it? Can I definitely think off? he can. First 3-0 reset bracket. I certainly think there's a chance. Listen, something's in the air in these Champion of the Realms matches where these competitors just channel their inner demon. These guys just go into Ultra Instinct, and they really go above and beyond. We've seen it happen plenty of times before. I don't see why not again. Hayate is really starting the stepping stone for that to even happen, though. You know, he's getting one game on the board here against Garrett, who's got two on the board, sitting on the winner's side. You can't for forget that, bro. That winner's side position is... What the fuck was that? What was that? Was something, that? something just... Was that Owen? That was Owen? Was that fucking Owen, bro? Don't tell me Owen. Bro. Don't, don't tell me, don't, don't tell me Owen got loose. Owen, oh, no. Who let Owen out, man? Who did it? Wait, is Garrett, is Garrett thinking about this? Garrett taking the full 50 again? He's taking the full minute. This is equivalent to when you're in boxing and you see, uh, you know, you see someone get knocked down, they take the eight count. Get wrecked right now. Maybe trying to slow down whatever momentum Hayate may be building after that win. As we now go into game four. If Hayate wins this and we go to a game five, all the momentum is in his favor. Get wrecked, shut him down, and be our eighth and final qualifier. Or are we going to a game five? Let's see what happens. I just want to see some continued hype in the chat. There yeah. isn't enough. Go crazy, please. Go crazy. Listen, we need more I, wa I want to see the chat to the point where we can't even read anything. Just go ballistic. Show okay, us, show us how much you enjoy the Champions of the Realms right now in the chat. I don't care where the emo comes from. It could be mine, it could be Destroyers, it could be uh, Jimmy John, it could be the Pog Champion mode of the day. Whoever your emo comes from, just give me some hype in this damn chat. Nice interactable there oh from Hayate. Oh my god, drilling his head. Hayate's going crazy. You guys are feeling Hayate right now. This is a spirit bump for Hayate. Good throw. Coming for Get Wrecked. Trying to maintain his composure here. Let's see what happens. Oh no, I'm gonna wake up right into those attacks. That's not good. In, in the absolute worst case scenario, although Get Wrecked has lost that round, that's two amplifications on the bicycle kick. That's one more away from crushing blow being set up. That's the silver lining right now if you get wrecked. Back two into the wind push. Hayate taking one more game on the board here. I mean, one more round on the board here. Dude, if, if I'm telling you right now, if Hayate ends up taking this, oh my God, are we gonna be in hot water? I have a oh my God. He exited his body and ascended into the Elder God status. Good flying kick. Watch the dragon Whoa! kick and get the what down. Read? Oh, oh, and the armor breaker Yo, as well. Hey, That's hey, the second time we can do that. Yeah, dude, he gets it every time. If he's gonna go for that armor breaker combo, he's gonna get it every time. Hayate right now catching a crazy oh, launcher man. here. Holy oh, shit, is Derek in trouble? This is scary, Destroyer. No, no, I think he's dead. He's dead. That's it. He's dead. We're going to game five. We're going to game five, ladies and gentlemen. There is a real world possibility that Hayate can reverse 3 0, reset the bracket right now. There isn't enough hype in the chat. There isn't enough. I need more. I need more. Holy shit. I don't know. There's not enough hype. There's not enough hype. I, I need to see for the next 30 seconds. Literally, spam hype in my chat. You want me to get you some spam? What do you want? Are your eggs, uh, you want yeah. your <laughs> eggs uh, scrambled? Yeah, 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 please. All right, I got you. Wait, get wrecked? Oh my God. He's thinking about making the switch to uh, no. Kung Lao. He's really thinking about making the switch to Kung Lao right now, bro. Oh my god. Destroyer. Dude. I can't say I disagree with the pick, to be honest with you, Destroyer. 
This is the character that we have seen him play the most through Champions of the Realms. I believe the character that he ended up... Isn't this the character he ended up taking? No, 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 it was Liu Kang. That's right, where he faced off against Elke Kui. Dude, I don't even know anymore, man. I don't even know how to talk English. I was out of the Destroyer has uh, seemingly had some sort of. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, a terrible mathematician. <laughs> He's just out of commission now. But alright, in the corner right now, Hayate. Get wrecked. Gonna land that spin, switching sides. Beautiful stuff here. It's oh my nice. god! Hayate oh, needs to stop oh. this now! Oh, oh get no. right, gets in max point, bro. That's gonna be huge for him. Holy shit. Finally retaliating. Hayate fighting his way out of that corner. Gonna go for the wind push. Blocking the, the silly hats. The little wavy hats, the, yeah. The silly, the silly hats, bro. Oh no, match Ooh, point. Shit. I'm point four, get wrecked. I'm Hayate, nervous. I'm you nervous. got a point way to counter this Kun Lao. I'm nervous right now. You nervous? I, you look nervous. Get waited until all the way to game five. Oh my god, he lands a dive kick. That was so risky. That was so risky. And, and it look is so. Way. Listen, it's so unfortunate for for Fujin as a character. Every time he catches a conversion in the air, his recovery frames. He just like it always fucks him up. He has yeah. really bad uh, whiffing issues on airborne. But he's still in this. Oh no, that's huge. That was such a sick combo conversion for Get Wrecked. Another thing that I'm noticing a little bit with Hayate oh. right now is that he's a little more reserved, but that was ballsy. And he gets the conversion for it. The and throw. the core throw connects. She's backing up here. Oh, that's what I'm saying. This reserved play. I respect it. I respect it. But you, you gotta you gotta think about it. Listen, man, Kung Lao hits fucking hard, bro. If he catches one touch on Hayate, that reserved play is gonna go down the drain. Beautiful catch! Incredible. 30 seconds oh, that could have been a trip guard. He could have had the round. Oh, oh my god. god. Whoa. The setup. He's going to block it successfully. Oh, Good hit. stuff from One Hayate. Hit One hit will do it for Get Rex. 18 seconds Bash. left on the clock. He's left with a fatal blow. Oh, he gets it. He gets the final round. Final round. Holy shit. Is this I real? I can't take this. Bro, is this scripted? Did you I script am... this one? Goddamn mine. What is happening? Oh, he's going to open up with the EX hat toss. Hayate was not ready for that. Get right, really going for the sneaky stuff here. Oh, Yo, no. this is two incredible combos back to back. Oh, that stagger. Hayate finding his way out of the corner. Oh. God, dude. Does he get punished off that throw? Oh, my lifting. God. Oh, my God. He has breakaway. Up. That down two. I don't know what to think. He's got a mountain to climb. He's got a mountain to climb. Is he gonna be able to survive? Nice anti air! Hold on, dude! And this is it! Get right doesn't have any breakaway! Oh! No, he's trying That's to get a across. Punish. And that is it. That's get a punish! With the forward one! Oh my it's god! All over. It is all over! Dude, get right getting the final qualifying spot! He's gonna get the final qualifying spot! Oh my god! What a match! What a match! This was absolute insanity, man. It went down to the absolute wire. And Get Wrecked is going to overcome all the obstacles that were thrown at him today. And he's going to get that final qualifying spot, Caboose. What the hell? What the hell? Dude. February 19th, February 19th. I want everybody right now, if you got a calendar or I want you to open up your phone, I want you, you to mark it down on your calendar. Oh February 19th, it's going down. Hayate is the final qualifying champion. I, I mean, not Hayate, what I, what am I, get right, get right, get right, get right. My bad, sorry. Holy smokes, get wrecked, final qualifying champion of the realms and that rounds out the top eight that will that we will have for the finale of champions of the realms season two which takes place on february 19th next friday over on cgl's twitch yes exclamation point, exclamation point CGL. cgl right exclamation now point cgl make sure you're following them on twitch 
that's where the finale is going to take place. You guys better be ready for it.